Just gonna suddenly see the game. Are you ready? Bam! And now we right click and close Outcast, which I can't tell if it worked or not. Okay, here we are. Let me change my title real fast. Time to climb and cry and climb and cry. Pipe. God, I love to cry. Pipe. Hashtag ad. <laughs> A difficult game about... Okay, so before... I'm just gonna... I... I... I need to evacuate the downstairs area momentarily. Did I tweet? I don't think I needed to... Oh, I should tweet. I'll think about it. How long have I been live? Uh, hour 49 minutes. Is this an ad for crying? You know it. Okay, so if you've played... Getting Over It... It's kind of like that, except... You have legs, but you can't use them anyway. You can only use your hands. And here's how the controls work. This... My... Oh, yeah. My moving around, this is my mouse. Okay? And you can grip with your hands. I played this for like half a second. So I... So I'm... I'm basically a pro. And you're, you're, if I left mouse click, it grabs with the left hand. And if I, right, if I use the right mouse click, it does the right hand. If I do both, he holds on with both, and then I can do all this stuff. And so that's, that's going to be the whole game. Is us trying to, trying to, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, do all this. And I can't tell how loud it is. I just feel like that in particular is really loud. W to thrust? Oh, you're right. If you push- if you push W, he does that. Which looks... very special. So if I- hold on. If I push that and then let go... Huh! 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 Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Are his legs broken? No, he just- he just is saving him for a special occasion. All right, I'm going to go use the facilities. You should do the same. Or don't. I don't care what you do. What's your favorite shitty movie that you keep coming back to? Dragonheart, no question. All right, I'll be right back. I'm back. I don't know if you could tell. <clears throat> oh, my my rotator cuff's gonna feel this. Just want to see. All right, hold on. Let me. What if I just aggressively? Okay, this might be better. I increase the, the mouse sensitivity on my mouse to the highest possible. I'm I'm trying to. <laughs> Trying to... My whole desk is shaking as I do this. Can you try to do the YMCA with this guy? Uh, let's see if I... Well, I, if I would... I would have to do it on the rock, I think. Hold on. Uh, come on. Come on. 
Oh shit, we left out cast. Does this game have smooching? Kinda. Yes, please tell us what you're trying to do. Yes, so you could you could do Y. Well, and I guess that's I guess this is kind of M. C. Well, I can't. I guess I can't do the real M because you can't make his his like his arms do stuff. Does he have jet nips? No, though. No, I mean he would he would win the game instantly if he had jet nips. Also, again, thank you for being here. I know that I'm not reading out uh, as many subs and bits stuff. I'm trying a little thing where I just try to focus more on the game and also try to talk to chat more. But I am still going to acknowledge them when I see them, when I see a free moment. If I don't, but you want to hear me uh, talk about it anyway or acknowledge it, because I really do want to, uh, at the end of stream, I will be doing that. I will, I will go through all of them, and I will sit there. Okay, so there's nothing on either side. Good. Good. God, my one arm is going to be larger than the other. From just this game and this game only. Come on. Come on. Okay. Good. Now I'm out of breath. Let's try this for real. Remove his cloth. I don't think you can do that, but I guess that doesn't mean we can't try. Hold on. Let's see if I take his hand and... Nope, he won't bring it behind him. Like a quitter. So again, if you're just joining up, this is a game called... A difficult game about climbing. It's like a... I think the guy who made it calls it a foddy-like. Because... Or something to that effect. Because it's obviously inspired by getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy being the person who made that game. And also, this game reminds me a lot of... There's a, there's a game that Bennett Foddy also made called... Because Bennett Foddy also made a game called Quop, which you've probably heard of. It's like a game where you use just Q-W-O-N-P to try and make... Make like a, like a track runner run, and it's just a, a goddamn mess. And then he made another game. Yeah, I see people in chat mentioning, mentioning it called GURP, which was a climbing game like this, but you had to use like all the... All like the letters on the keyboard and it was a lot of fun but in that game the water level is rising so you have to like hustle i don't think that's the case in this one why does his clothes wave around in the water why do his clothes wave around in the water as if it's in the air there's no drag too unrealistic won't be <laughs> yeah i will be leaving a strongly worded letter i am gonna be pissed for a lifetime I can't handle this. Okay, so this is wet. That's what's happening here. I'm trying to grab onto this. Ah! And he keeps sliding off it. Does that mean to imply that we have to go around? Or do you think we can, if we're just fast, let's try. <laughs> let's try that again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. So... The reviews I read on this game, don't forget to thrust. Oh, don't you worry. I am thrusting, just not effectively. Yeah. Huh? Nope. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh, I see. So he can't thrust on this because if you if you try to make him thrust, he just loses his grip faster. Okay. Huh? Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I get... This is the one time I wish I had a standing desk where I just was like, all right, I have to fully stand for this. This is a full body aggressive activity for my one arm. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hoodie's opening. Okay. Let's try this again. No. No. Okay. So actually, interestingly, I'm holding, I'm holding down both buttons to grip, but if I shake him around enough, he does start to lose a little bit of traction. That's good to know. Anyone else here for the random Josh sound effects added to any gaming plays? I find that I'm actually drawn to streamers who also do this. They go like, eh, ah. No, 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 no. Ha! 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 Just... You want it! You want it bad enough! Just take it! Take it! It's yours! Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try the other side. I'm sure other people... I'm... You know what else I saw when I googled this game briefly? I saw immediately a video popped up that was like, 
speed run world record six minutes and i'm like well that's good for you <laughs> I'm, I'm very proud of what you've all been able to accomplish huh okay obviously the right way to do this is to not try to climb up the right side so we're just gonna see if we can make this work if we go thrust our way over to god damn no okay don't like it back over to the rocks my 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 emotional security rocks. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Maybe climb up the center. You're you're a center. Ah shit. That was instant karma, wasn't it? Do the sidewalls extend up in indefinitely, or can you thrust yourself off the hot, off yourself off from high enough to get over them? I don't know why that sentence was so hard, and I'm sorry. So earlier, when I was just making sure this game would work. What, this isn't how you swim? Sideways the whole time? Am I okay? <laughs> Debatable. I tried to make a an auto hotkey script that would just do this indefinitely to see if I could get him to like climb up the side. But then I gave up. Cool story. I tried for like 20 seconds. And then I decided this is a job for somebody else. Do you think that swimming stroke will make it to the Olympics eventually? I fucking hope so. I mean, I wish all of this was an Olympic sport. Okay. 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 Just get away from the water. It's too splashy. Can you swim down? Sort of? <laughs> I just don't think he wants... What? Okay, maybe if I get my hands submerged and then thrust up... No, doesn't, I mean, I mean, uh, huh. no, he doesn't want to. Okay. 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 Just get, get your fine ass up there. Hold on. How is playing this game with a gamepad? Is that any better? Ugh, he seems like disciplined and controlled and shit. Feels too easy. Don't like it. Back to mouse. I don't want to have an arm left when I'm done with this game. <laughs> Such a dumb idea. Why would I say that? I got to remember to use the thrust. That thrust is really helping out. So, oh, do you see that? We're already learning speedrunner strats. Oh my god, I can't wait for... Okay, don't, don't. Don't show us too much of your amazing biceps. What stuff did they feed this climber? Just an Olympic dream that he may or may not succeed on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Personal best. We're looking at a personal best right here. What magnificent things are going to happen with these? Oh, these tires are just fine besides the, 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 the tetanus ravaging my palms. Okay, I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. I feel like... I feel like all those years of... He's he's probably one of those people that does pull-ups with only his fingertips. And all those years of taking videos and sending them to his friends that are like, we fucking get it, you climb, are finally paying off. All those times, he was like, bros, do you want to go bouldering with me? And everyone's like, nobody wants to go bouldering with you. We'll go bouldering with literally anybody else, but not you anymore. You're intolerable. No, we don't want to do CrossFit with you. No. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, if I, my fingers can feel this. That motion right there. I also want this to be an instrument in a band now. That's all he does is he scrapes across it and then it afterwards. How do you think this man got here? I'm picturing something kind of like an Echo the Dolphin story. I don't know if you remember that game. Oh, no, it's all... We gotta be quick on this part. You see, everything is wet. Again, if you're just joining, if you try to grip onto the wet stuff, he, he slips right off. No! Oh, fuck! Okay. Okay. I never got past the tutorial for Echo the Dolphin. Hello, Fumbles, by the way. Yeah, where's my gurp? Yeah, Echo, ha Echo the Dolphin... 
It was a game about a dolphin on the Sega Genesis and or Mega Drive, depending on where you are. Where you're a dolphin, and all your dolphin friends get all stolen from the ocean, and you were not part of the abduction because you were doing fun little flips in the air when it happened. And then you go on a magical journey where there's aliens, and you become super powered, and you become like a like a like a an astral dolphin. This is all true, by the way. And then there was a sequel where you travel through time. And they were both fun. Anyway, I think that's probably what happened here, is he was just doing some sick climbing. And he made up this story where everyone else got ab abducted because he didn't want to face the fact that his friends just didn't want anything to do with him anymore. Because he's that guy that's just like, you know what, if you eat raw livers only and take cold showers, um, your, your brain power will go up a hundred, a hundredfold? So, that's why, when I first wake up in the morning, I do 45 minutes of aggressive jump training and climbing. It's the only way to wake up, bro. And then I make butter coffee, and where are you going? My husband was so happy over the mention of Echo. I think about Echo. There's certain things in life from my childhood that I think about entirely too much. Echo the Dolphin, Mrs. Doubtfire, Robocop. Probably those three. Yeah. And to and the three boob lady from from Total Recall. Those are probably the three. Four. Soon to be five. When I no, 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 no. What is butter coffee? So butter coffee is basically you just take some butter and you blend it into your coffee. That's it. Uh, it doesn't taste bad. I've done it. I've done, I've, uh, I've done it before. It's a little too rich for me, and I feel a little bit ill from it, but, like, I think it tastes kind of good. You could also use coconut oil. You can use all kinds of, yeah, bulletproof coffee. There you go. Is it healthy? I suppose that probably depends on who you ask. Okay. Easy. Huh! My god, I feel like we're doing so good. The end boss of Echo was terrifying. Not just terrifying, but fucking hard. Everything about that game was hard. Yeah, it's a big keto thing. And I'm I'm hesitant to mention this because I'll just get made fun of, rightfully so. But I mean I wanna say like ten years ago I did like paleo for a while, which is it's kind of an offshoot in a way. Like it has some similarities to keto. But as part of that, I was willing to try pretty much anything that was just like butter based. Have you played Pal World? I have played Pal World. If you uh over on the YouTubes if you, uh, if you look for it, there is a, there is a Pal World video there. Although it's, I guess, no, 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 no. It's debatable if it's actually, like, being played. Josh, how do you like your coffee? Um, I almost went with the lowest common denominator dick, dick joke answer. Uh, I just drink it black. Which, uh, I think, I personally think it is an easier... Fine, I'll just do it. I was gonna... What was I gonna say? Okay, well, it was an offshoot of something I said to someone once. Where, uh, it was this guy I didn't know very well. But we kind of... We were kind of getting to know each other a little bit. Like, you know, it's like when you're learning to become friends with someone. But anyway, they're like, how do you take your steak? And I know what he meant. He meant, like, do you get it medium, medium, medium rare? Like, how do you take your steak? And, but my answer to him was... <laughs> I just shove the whole thing down my throat and choke on it like a dick, and he just goes, Jesus fucking Christ. I meant, how do you, how do you cook your steak? <laughs> and I was like, oh. Right. Of course. Of course that's what someone would think. So I was trying to figure out something like that. Should I put on some music to this? I just real- hold on. All right, we have a dilemma here. I can't, I, want, I thought I should put on something a little more chill. But I can't let go. So I guess whatever this is, is what we're listening to. That's how I make friends too, yeah. You just gotta say the most obvious answer. Is this thing, is this goddamn arrow telling me that I need to go down and around? I don't want to believe that. Coming from the YouTube, this is delightfully less mature. Yeah, someone a couple streams ago said they appreciated that the YouTube content they can watch with their kids. Huh. Just taking a chance there. 
And then they can come over here and see something significantly more depraved, I think is what they said. Hello, Game It Out. I love your YouTube videos. Thanks. Thanks, Planet Waffle. Huh? Huh? I just... I just... just, just. <laughs> How to make friends. Be extremely weird up front so you seem normal. You know, I mean, as a negotiation tactic, that might actually work, right? If you want to get what you want, you have to look... You just have to be out outrageous out the gate and then dial it way back and then everyone's like, wow, he's not just normal, he's remarkably normal. Try using your toes. This person does not believe in using their lower body. And, oh. Oh, hell yeah. Hold on. I didn't realize, like, okay. I think those those are probably strats that are going to play into it more later, I would have to assume. I would say that you've got to... You've, you've got to ease into the weirdness. Because if people have already, I think, if people have already bought into accepting you even a little bit, then you can start to let it out a little bit. But if they're not sure about you to begin with, it's it's probably not going to help, right? In theory. The YouTube videos show off shit. Trun, that went off the page, and so I can't read it because I can't scroll anything without losing my grip. But I think I saw that it was you said uh, that you appreciate the editing and the way I do my YouTube videos, which thank you. No, 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 no. Grab onto a tree. You want this. You need this. Fuck! <laughs> Any plans to put up your earlier streams like Elite Dangerous? They aren't on the unofficial VOD channel. Yeah. Yeah, I have them all, I think. Uh, I just need to... I get into that space that I think... Uh, I, I feel very blessed, by the way. I see a lot of my streamer friends in chat, so I'm sure they can relate to this as well, that when it comes to, like, looking at your VODs, especially if you've captured them locally, uh, I, I, or even if you didn't, you start to get that feeling sometimes where you're like, well, I could just throw this up on the internet, but it's like, oh, or I could like, kind of like pare it down and make it a little bit better, or like fix the audio or something. Cause I want to say at least half my streams. You can pause the game and the grip will stay when you unpause. I'll see. We'll see about that. Okay. I'm letting go. Now I'm going to hit escape. Oh my God. You're right. I'm not holding down the buttons. They've thought of everything. You're right. But yeah, so like that's that's the conundrum I get into when it comes to the VODs is I'm like, ah, oh, I should fix some audio since half my VODs I fuck up the audio and I should go back and do this one other thing and then I should really think about like a content strategy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then I make that noise for a while. I don't know how you can all listen to your own voices. I'd go insane. At a point, I think it all just starts to sound like white noise. Because, like, I've, I've tried to edit out in the open sometimes. And for some reason, that actually is much more painful to me than listening under headphones. There's something about blasting it where other people may hear it. I'm not saying I, like, go to fucking Starbucks and start editing videos. Although that feels like a Starbucks thing to do. Oh, I can just hold down the thrust button and he just does this? All right, hold on. Let's read some chat while it, while he just uh just does this one-handed pull-ups. Two things: the game is a metaphor for the struggle to move up in life. Also, have you played Grounded? Yes, I have. Uh, I played it once on stream, and that was it. It's not Grounded's fault, what I'm about to say, but I tend to not want to play that game because I don't like 90s aesthetics <laughs> like it's just i find it really hard to tolerate for whatever reason it's not their fault what they made great vision and intent uh, that said grounded i can really imagine being a game that's really fun to play with friends and stuff what game have you played recently that you really enjoyed and would recommend what have i been playing recently that i really liked I played this game called Vampire Hunters, which is basically like a, it's obviously inspired by Vampire Survivors, but it's first person. But it's still that kind of survive big mass amounts of armies coming at you kind of game. And I found it, I'm not sure if it's good or not, but I've I found that it's addicting and I really enjoy playing it. 
But your favorite game of all time, probably Ultima 7, which is a very old computer RPG. I don't know why I'm insisting on doing this. Why do I have to go up that way? Just, you know what? Just, just... All right, reset. Let's go back. Let's try this from the beginning again. How about Pacific Drive? I actually haven't played Pacific Drive yet. I've watched a lot of my friends play it. The sounds should have helped. I, yeah, if you're going... That should give you the strength required. But yeah, everybody likes Pacific Drive, and it looks fucking quality to me. Like, I, I just haven't had time to... Like, there's a... I feel like there's a big thing that happens where, like... And this sort of is a bummer at times, where it's like... If you make shit in... On the internet, you start to look at all kinds of stuff like, Oh, sh can I play this casually? Or is this really, truly something that... I should just, like, play for a video, or, or whatever it is. And there are definitely games that can just cross over to both. But I think I've also, when it comes to Pacific Drive, I think the, the loop of that game... Okay, let's be honest. It's that Pacific Drive is too well made. <laughs> like, I don't think I can make a video on it because the game is actually, like, solidly made and kind of confined in the way they set out to make it. And they've, like, succeeded in, like, you know, staying with their vision and keeping the player sort of, like, on... Not on rails, but just, like, on track. Which is not a bad thing. You should try playing House Flipper. House Flipper is a hard one because, like, it seems like it would be good for it, but it's also... No! Kind of limiting. Supermarket Sim being the number... <sighs> fucking Supermarket Sim. Not saying I won't do a fucking video for that game. And I'm a little reluctant to say this so publicly, but... I, I don't believe that that game's numbers are real. <laughs> Just, I find it really, really hard to believe that that game has 45,000 people playing it right now or something like that. It just, I don't believe it at all. And I've played so many of these garbage fucking sim games that I just, I just don't believe it for a second that that's not manufactured. It's strangely cozy. Well, that's the thing, too, right? Like, and it also opens up to, like, a philosophical question. Like, if if they inflated their numbers and their game is a piece of dog shit, but people like it, does it matter? And, and I mean, I guess you could argue that, yes, it still matters, but you could also argue, like, well, people still like it, though, and the game's only 13 bucks. Despite the fact that they have a website that's probably fake and their numbers are probably fake and... But a bunch of big streamers played it and they seem to really like it. I don't think they're all getting paid off. I think they played the game and they actually liked the game loop. So it's kind of like, eh, well, there it is. Te like five times the numbers as far as like concurrent players go as like, I don't think the game is AI generated. I just think it's hastily created. And I get, I've become incredibly cynical when it comes to these like, cause I played like what, like fucking parking lot sim and a state agent simulator and cars for sale and all of these games start to feel like the same fucking game and I, I don't mean it in the sense of like first person shooters all start to feel the same or something i mean they feel like literally they use the same mechanics from the same packaging and i can kind of tolerate those because they make for great meme games but also because they clearly aren't selling well then you get something like Supermarket Sim, where it's like, well, they cut through all that. And I also think Supermarket Sim is probably infinitely more functional as a game. Like, and it nailed, like, an actual interesting loop. But it doesn't mean they didn't fucking fudge their numbers. I just don't believe it. I can't know this, though. I can't- I cannot possibly know this. But it's just, like, a feeling I got when I saw their game on Steam, and I was like, this does not feel like numbers- these numbers are real. There's no way this game out the gate got as many like positive reviews as it did and like, you know, 10,000 players playing. It just, it just, it does not, it does not seem like it makes sense based on all the data I've seen of other games at the same time, like that come out at the same time. It just feels completely not legitimate to me. My friend has now automated his entire supermarket. He doesn't even do anything when he logs in. There is, there is a satisfaction to that though. Can you fucking get up there? Can you stop your little, your pussyfooting around? 
I love those kinds of games, to be honest. Well, that's the other thing too, right? Like, there is something to be said for garbage simulator games being kind of fun. Like, Parking Lot Simulator wasn't not fun. It just felt completely like the people who made it, it, it was really difficult to understand if it was like they don't care or they just, this is their first game or... It's just, it's so... No! <laughs> I actually had fun with Gas Station Sim. Well, I think Gas, Sta Gas Station Sim was also a game that was made, like, much more, like... I think that game was made by people that were trying to make a game. Like, they also understood the meme potential of it, but I feel like that game actually had a game behind it. Where can you find this game? It's on Steam. You, I'm assuming you mean the one I'm playing here. Easy, easy. Will you ever do Planet Zoo or Planet Coaster again? Yeah, probably. I want to return back to those as well. No! Hold on to this, this petrol pump like you give a shit. Why won't you just fuck it? Oh, actually, that almost felt like a legitimate strategy where he's like tap dancing with his fingers. Hold on. Can we do something with that? That hurt like a motherfucker to do, but let's try it again. I want to get off this thing, though. I want to sidestep like this. Okay. All right, so hold on. I want to check something. So if I put hand there and other hand there and I go... I don't know if you can hear the, mouth, the, the, the aggressive mouse clicking, but, like, I wonder if, like... So if I do the, the hard, fast clicking like that while moving the mouse up, I wonder if he can shimmy his way up. Let's try. Hold on. This is going to be hard. Okay. That almost worked. That almost worked. Hold on. Should I write a script for this? I guess that's cheating. Maybe later I'll write a script for it and just see, like, if you do left and right mouse click as fast as possible and tell the script to also keep rolling up, like, will I be able to, like... I feel like that could work. I wonder if that's... I wonder if that's, like, a strategy I'm gonna have to do later. <laughs> We're gonna try to use it. I'm glad... I'm glad I don't have a face cam right now, because the stupid looks I'm making while I'm, like, doing that stuff, it's, like, it's, like, full intensity, just like, yeah, just, just gonna make this work. It likely would not work on the slippery rocks. We'll see about that, won't we? There's some... There just happen to be some slippery rocks right here. We're gonna... Hold on, I didn't have enough space on my- hold on, I gotta- I gotta like... I don't have enough- I don't have enough cord for this. I need to like, go find a wireless mouse so I can like, stand on the other- like, sit on the other side of my room, and like, race the cursor across the floor. Alright, hold on, let's, let's just, hold on. Hold on! Hold on! Okay, okay, you might be right. Okay, that's really hard to do. <laughs> okay, where was I? My body wasn't supposed to bend that way. Josh, what is your favorite genre of game? These days, like, like for personal play, probably roguelikes. Like, I still to this day play a lot of FTL, a lot of Binding of Isaac, a lot of, uh, set DPI really high. I've set it to the maximum on my mouse. I have not played much Bellatro yet, but I really, really want to. I watched Shusky play that actually, and I've watched uh, a couple other streamers play it, and it looks really quite fun. And it looks like I could lose myself entirely to that game. Does it want me to... Careful, it's so addicting. This is what I hear. It looks so good, though. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna try and, uh... Hold on. Stay, stay... Uh, okay, let's grab onto this... <laughs> Come on, stop. Stop being difficult! Okay, okay. How do you feel about AC... about Assassin's Creed... Uh, Valhalla having a new roguelike mode. I haven't played Valhalla. It's been a while since I played any Assassin's Creed games, except for the... I, there was a VR one I played that was really cool, but... Uh, it sounds like a cool addition. Addicting is my hopes and dreams. That's the spirit. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Ready? Ha! Huh! My god, is that really what we were supposed to do? Was that really... Hold on. <laughs> like, on the... 
That really is what we were supposed to do. How about that, huh? Yeah, we're gaming now. I didn't even make... Did I even make, like, a triumphant noise? That shouldn't have worked without the noise. Huh? Eh. 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 Fast. Fast. You left. Right. Left. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, now we're gaming. All right. Yeah, I think the key to this is, is, is hitting things harder, to be honest. All right. I know I should be up higher for this, but fuck it. Ah! Okay, all right. That was called hubris. That was my own... <laughs> that was my own hubris. Let's reset and try it again. Come on, dude. All right, I got to figure out those hot strats to get through. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nope, let go. Let, yep, 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 ish. Come on. Don't do this to me, buddy. There's people watching. You have to do better. There's girls watching. <laughs> they need to be impressed. I remember one time I was moving, uh, and uh, how to be quiet. Who's in chat? I was, uh, I was telling him. I was like, I can't even remember what I said. Like, should I, like, do you think I can like lazily move? Like, I just, I don't want to do this. I've been doing it so long, and I'm so tired. And quiet was just like, well, that's true, but there might be girls watching. I was like, shit, <laughs> you're right. Clearly, I have to keep struggling now. There might be girls watching in my own home somehow. Ha! Okay, I feel like this game, by the way, is a decent amount more accessible than... Uh, than getting over it. I feel like the... Uh, I don't know if it looks like it, but I feel like the... Ha! Controls are a little bit easier to manage. Josh, you helped me get through my last breakup. Now I'm on another breakup. And once again, you're you're the one cheering me up. Thanks for all the content you make. Thank you. Or I'm sorry to hear you're going through a breakup, but I'm glad I can help ease the, uh, the loss because I know that that can be just a lot. And uh, I also have had like YouTubers, not specifically for Britain. Well, maybe. I can't remember now. But like, you know, I've I've dealt with loss as well and like had had YouTubers that I watched a lot of that like really helped through those times. And like that's really it's really comforting stuff to have, you know? So I'm I'm always incredibly honored that someone would use my videos where I scream and yell <laughs> for that kind of stuff. Josh, thank you for being an awesome creator. I love your videos and I've watched them all. Do you still have the deleted YouTube videos? I want to watch those too. Give me the suspect ones. Where I do drugs and sell them to kids. Uh, I assume you mean like there's a couple of series that got removed from from YouTube, that <laughs> especially the suspect ones, the ones they'll use in court. As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, there was one. It's it's hard because I I could probably restore a bunch of them. At the time, it was because I said my last name a bunch, but. That's, I mean, I'm always a little bit reluctant to talk about this because I, you know, have tried to keep my identity, like, a little less important than anything. Like, I always wanted to just be about having fun and playing games. But obviously, you know, people get curious and now that information is theoretically out there. So it's a little bit easier to track. So I could probably put some of them back up because it's like, eh, well, it is what it is now. Um, but there was one where I had to pull down because... Uh, it got copyright ID, copyright claimed by another creator, which at the time I was like, I'm not going to bother fighting this. Like, it was it was because Anthony and I played Rise of the Tomb Raider and one of the cutscenes, the cutscenes where we weren't saying anything is what got flagged by another fucking creator. Not not the people who made the fucking game. I think it was Melanie Mac. <laughs> I'm going to name names. But I remember being like, oh, I could I was also like a channel of like 500 subscribers. And so I was like, eh, rather than do something about this, I'll just pull the videos. Like, I don't want to deal with this. So Rise of the Tomb Raider is no longer on the channel. But again, it wasn't like that was a super super popular series anyway. I am having to con consciously focus on not grinding my teeth watching this game. Eh. 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 It was interesting, though, because I didn't know who Melanie Mack was, and I was like, oh, okay, well, now I know who this person is. I'm starting to learn the, the YouTube ecosystem. 
Josh, you mentioned earlier about crotch cam, but it was busy. I wanted to share. When friends and I played the very old Neverwinter Nights online, a friend called, cast growth on us all at all times, so all cutscenes were just talking crotches. That is what I'm talking about. I remember playing the original Halo, and, like, you could really shove the Warthog, that your vehicle, in, like, a lot of places where it's not really supposed to be. And then it would, like, play a cutscene, and the cutscene would get all fucked up because, like, the characters couldn't walk where they needed to because there was a, a vehicle in the way. And that shit was always funny to me. Ha! Good. Yeah, I mean the Puma. Excuse me. Puma thingy. Oh, no. Chupa thingy. <laughs> I just told you to stop making up animals. No, 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 fuck you. Don't you see that? You, that purple plant? You love that goddamn purple plant. You grip on it, okay? You grip on it like it matters, like you love it. Okay? Is this thing slippery? Is that what my problem is? I guess it does look really glistening. Bye, I have to go hang out with my family. Uh, Dolly Girl, thank you for hanging out. Have fun with the family, or if you hate your family, I'm sorry. I don't think the bone's gonna work. I really wanted to grab onto the bone, but I, I think instead we're gonna have to... Okay. Okay. This is this is probably gonna work the second time, right? As long as I don't fuck around too much, because then I can't... And then I start to slide. Okay. I left the stream up in my office, and a house guest came in to use the bathroom, and then bashfully asked what I was watching. Ha! I think my wife is downstairs, like... She's been learning how to play, like, chess. I mean, she knows how to play chess, but she's, like, trying to actually learn, like, rules and opening moves and stuff. So it's like, I imagine she's down there just like, uh-huh, okay, I've learned how to do this particular move. On your third, when the pawn is here, I should be, ah! Whatever. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Hold on. Piece of shit. Piece. Of. Shit. She's probably used to it by now. Absolutely has to be used to it by now. This is where I'd quit? Nah, we're just getting started. Come on. You fuck. Don't get your- why, why would you put your hands lower? Huh? What do you think this is? Some kind of fucking game? Oh. God, now we're talking. Should we just do only... Can we get him to flip entirely? That's what we need in our life. I never wear headphones. I want everyone to listen with me. This is a group activity in this house. I hope, Bees, you're one of those people that, like, when you're at the airport and you talk to people, you have to do it on, like, FaceTime with speakerphone for some reason. I do fantasize about the day I'm, like, at an airport. And I see somebody watch. This has never, ever happened. I've never, ever seen, nor do I expect to see anybody watching my stuff in public. But I cannot wait for the day that if it actually happens. And then I, you know what I should, what I'll probably do, let's be honest, is I'll walk up to them and I'll say some weird ass conspiracy theory shit and then just walk off. And I'll let them have to piece together what they just saw and ruin that fan relationship forever. That's how it's going to go. <laughs> Shit, I'm backwards. What is this? This is what's holding on with the left. Is that my right hand? Okay. 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 Yeah, no one will ever believe this discuss. Yeah. No one I I talked to Josh from Let's Game Out. He came by and he and he, he just only told me the earth is flat. And then unplugged my phone from the charger and made out with the charger. Everything about it you got to believe me, it really happened. What? You guys don't think about that? You're at the airport and there's... Just... So many... Have I talked about the... Not this. This I'm just thinking about airports now. But there's this, uh, there's this product in a bunch of airports, at least the ones I've been to recently, called Fuel Rod. And it's this, like, thing you can... It's like a kiosk where you can buy, like, little... Like, little rechargeable fucking battery things, right? 
And their whole thing is once it's used up, you can just go back to the kiosk and put the old one in and it'll give you a fresh one that's fully charged. And I, don't, I wouldn't do this now because it feels like a jerk move, but I remember back when I was working in corporate America and cynical and didn't care, I bought one of those and then proceeded to be like, well, what's going to, will it stop me if I just keep trying to take new ones? <laughs> and so my, the guy I was with on this flight watched me like with full embarrassment as I stood there and just kept putting in the, the charged fuel rods and then taking the new one and being like, I need a new one and just keep doing it over and over again. And yes, indeed, the machine eventually was out of order for everybody as a result. <laughs> I, my tomfoolery made the world worse for everybody. And then I assume some asshole had to come up there and be like, wow, today was a busy day. We, we went through a lot more chargers than usual. Streamer privileges from the beginning. Just, I don't know. It's just, it just a busy volume day. Must be doing really well as a company. We better, uh. We better go public soon. Okay, this is this is my favorite part. Yeah, business is booming. Don't know what happened with this, but Oakland Airport's really just real. People really love fuel rod, I guess. Easy, easy. <laughs> it's fun to do every time. It hurts a little more every time, but. If you know you're going to grab onto some dinosaur bones, why wouldn't you do that triumphantly? Okay, so do you suppose the bone is here as like a thing being like, listen, you have to at least be above this line. Because it doesn't feel like you can hold on to this slick, glistening, sumptuous, fuckable bone. So let's try a little higher. Let's try it maybe right behind it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, what do you mean, ha? Huh? Right, here we go. Here we go. I was ordering pizza during the scream. The person on the phone had to pause, acted like he witnessed a murder, and responded with, Is everything okay? Ha! I was just thinking about a story that I can't remember if I told on stream. Uh, my l God, I hope he's not listening. My landlord uh, came by at some point, kind of recently, and I was like, he knew I was a YouTuber and all that stuff, so I was, like, showing him my setup and stuff. But something I forgot is that on I have a thing called a stream deck, which is, like, this little thing with buttons on it that you can program. But each stream, each little button can be its own little screen, so you can, and you can set it to whatever you want. And also, if you're not using it, like, if it's, if you turn off the, the software, it brings up, like, a screensaver. You can set the image for what it shows. And so, of course, I changed it to Goatsy. So, like, when my computer's asleep... As it was, it just shows Goatsy on it. <laughs> and yeah, of course, right? And so when my landlord came in, I was like, yeah, let me show you it. Like, yeah, this is the setup. Here's where my mic is and all this stuff. And I just realized in that moment, I was like, oh, fuck. My stream deck is just, it's just Goatsy illuminated. And I just, like, casually kind of walked up and just turned it around and hoped that he just didn't see it at all because like from a distance maybe you just wouldn't know or whatever but also if that man has ever seen ghosts in his life he knew <laughs> so, yeah he saw it okay this is oh i think i need to be up higher actually or maybe i'm just scared is that yeah is that a picture of a sunset a fleshy, fleshy sunset. Who hasn't seen it? There's still people, trust me. Okay. Is Cooking Simulator too laggy? What's your opinions on that game? Cooking Simulator's fun. Depends what you want from it. I mean, there's a. I've played. I've tried to play Cooking Sim VR seriously, like on my own time, and it's fun, but you also can't escape the feeling like, why don't I just actually go cook something if I'm gonna do all this? This doesn't feel right. It didn't feel right. The trajectory did not feel right. Although it might have been. Oh my god, Josh. Don't doubt yourself. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. One. Two. Three. Oh, hold on. I, I, my mouse got almost banged into my keyboard and I got, I got cold feet. Let me try this again. <laughs> I'm so scared. One. Maybe I just need to do it on one because I feel like all the, all the shimming around is not helping. Swing with one arm? I don't believe you, but we'll try it. 
Next ball, that would have broken his arm on the way down for sure. Okay, I actually think that there might have been some logic to that. Then I just executed it poorly. That's okay. Come on. Come on, go up. Go up. No, no with your left arm. Well, now you fucking tell me. Cooking sim with pineapples on pizza. I do appreciate your commitment to the pineapples on pizza. I also don't get why people don't like the sweet and savory on a pizza. I mean, why not? Just, uh, you know, just put like, um, put some pineapple on there and some like some nice savory, you know, three kinds of cheese and then a mountain of salt and then uh, some jelly beans. Maybe a kiwi with the skin still on. Which you can do, by the way. Just letting you know that is something you can do right now. Yeah. Can you eat the kiwi with the skin on? Think about it. Try it. Live a little. Depends on the kiwi. Yep. I assume you mean like there's certain situations where you wouldn't want to do that. And you aren't taking the stance of like, well, you know, if the kiwi, uh, you know, yep. was owned by a Nazi and then was rolled in toxic gas then uh, you shouldn't eat the skin on that one because uh, it's not organic. I assume, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're saying that in good faith. This is what I'm trying to say. What do you mean? What do you mean? What's the problem? Kiwi with skin on is better than naked kiwi and I will die on that hill. Yes. Yes. Take it from bees. Take it from bees, she would know because she, she's an American. So that really clears it all up if you think about it. That's that's just authority in and of itself, right? <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeah. Okay. Uh, Boomers, thank you for the reset, by the way. Uh, for everyone else <laughs> who's, who's subbing bits I didn't read, thank you. Thank you for them all. I will be... I'm, I'm mostly focusing on chat in the game, but I will be reading them off at the towards the end of stream. So you can either stick around or come back to the VOD if you want to hear me scream out your name. Well, well, that sounded weird, but you know what I mean. Let me have this! Fuck! Coffee. No. Bad coffee. Best coffee. I recommend, by the way, everyone try to start drinking their coffee black. I mean, do what you want, right? But when I worked in film, I used to be a filmmaker. I, that sounds so douchey when I say it that way. What I mean is I used to have a job as a script supervisor and I actually worked on movies and shit. But um, one thing that always drove me nuts, because by then I was already... Yeah, I'm script girl. Yeah, exactly. Uh, one thing that always drove me nuts is, like, when I just wanted coffee, I just wanted to drink some coffee. And I was already drinking black coffee, so it's as easy as pick up the cup, put the coffee in, off you go. Holy shit, drink your coffee like this while... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm telling you. To become a world-famous director, you also have to drink your coffee black. End of story. No, but like, the one thing that drove me nuts is when I just wanted to get through that line of people getting their coffee, and I had to wait for all these motherfuckers, which by the way, it's fine. You have your preferences. Like, I think you should, you know, have a little joy in your life for sure. But every goddamn time, I had to wait in line, and I saw all these dudes, and they like pump their coffee, then they get out the little stir stick, and then they pour a little sugar, and then they put a little cream in, and they take a sip. They're like, oh, it's not quite right. I need to put another fun. It's like, I just want, I just need five seconds. Move. Get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Bring your own, bring your, here's what you do. Bring your own goddamn, you, in your little backpack, your little, your little backpack that you brought. Why don't you put some fucking cream and sugar in there, huh? Why don't you make your own mix at home? Then you can bring that, and you can fucking... <laughs> My uncle works in film, there is no joy. Except for that little bit of coffee and cream with cream and sugar that I'm trying to take away from people. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There's nothing wrong with it, by the way. It's just, I always, it just always drives me nuts. Because I'm just like, but just, just move, just move, just move. This guy's hand. This is me. Just move over there. Coffee is right here. Condiments are right here. You don't have to be standing here to get your coffee and then grab the condiments and do all your stirring right here. I need to be here. All these people in line over here, they need to be here. Take those condiments over there and fuck around over there. No, oh, fuck me. 
And if you need more coffee in it, fuck you. You missed your chance. You have to come back. You get to the back of the line. Okay, here we go. Ha! <laughs> BRB, getting black coffee, then gonna write my scripts. Yeah, look, all I'm saying is when you get that coffee, the idea is gonna come to your brain. You're gonna be like, oh my god, I just thought of the next idea for my next big script. And by the way, this implies obviously that you've made a couple already. Your next big screenplay. Today's the day. And all because you stopped putting too Splenda in your coffee. One. Two! That wasn't even close. Try it again. We got this. I feel good about this. I feel like with every fall we learn. Change my mind. As an only tea sort of person, I don't understand how people can drink coffee and not poop immediately. You know, I've always been curious about when people call coffee like a major diuretic, because it's not that I doubt it, it's just I can't remember if it's one of those things where like I've just been doing it so long that my body just doesn't doesn't know how to do anything anymore. I drink coffee on the toilet. There's the there's the key move. Screw my highly successful career. I'm about to drink black coffee and become a script girl. Yeah. Uh, but to be fair, a script girl is a, a nickname for a script supervisor. They do not direct and or write the movie. So you're going to want to be a screenwriter or a script writer or a director. Actually, coffee is the bane of humans existence. Everyone goes nuts about it because they are addicted. Listen, listen, just like these motherfuckers that I'm complaining about, can't we just have a little joy? Can't I just wake up and be a human piece of shit until I get that first cup of coffee and only and I can use that as an excuse? Be like, no, no, can't. No, no talkie to me. No talkie to me until I have coffee. I haven't started in. I haven't started in the stuff yet. I did learn something, though. I mean, yes, I agree to a certain extent. And I, I remember I worked with... I used to work at a coffee shop, like, 20 years ago. And this guy that I worked with who was, like, heavily crazy addicted to... Like, he had a very strong love of coffee. And, uh... I remember what he would do. We would we would usually close the, the store. And, like, when you're closing out a coffee shop, it's like you dump whatever drip coffee is left just into the sink. Because it's not going to hold. But before we did, he would always pour, like, a venti cup size, like a 20-ounce to 24-ounce cup of black coffee. And I was like, do you drink that on the way home? And he's like, no, I leave it in my car, and I drink it the next morning. And I was like, you, 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 what? You do what? And he's like, Josh, I'm going to tell you a little secret. When it comes to coffee, even though I'm a huge coffee snob, that first cup doesn't matter. All that matters is drinking that shit. It doesn't matter if it's good. So I, he's like, yeah, I just get in my car. And I just drink my lukewarm, frozen cold, whatever coffee that's just been sitting in a paper cup in the in the, in the cup holder. And this was a guy who knew his coffee, too. Like, he was pretty into it. And I just thought that was the funniest fucking thing. And it also kind of put into perspective that it's like, you know, he's probably right. He's probably right that first cup doesn't really matter that much. I have drunk warm Pepsi before. See, see, you get it. Hold on. Ha! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. How many cups a day? I try to not have more than three cups of coffee a day. Yeah, like sometimes I just buy coffee and just shove it in my butt. There you go, bees. You said drink. You didn't talk about consume. Don't go from so high, go from lower. We'll be the, I'll be the judge of that. Wait, hold on. Am I doing this all wrong? Fuck my I let go of the wrong button. Sorry, that was my fault. It's my fault. Coke or Pepsi? I don't care. I'm just such a slut for sugar. Like I just it just get it in my fucking face. That's all that really matters. Like, at this point, I can't even taste Oreos anymore. I just eat it, and I'm like, ah, it tastes like, tastes like different textures of sugar. I'm ready for it. Actually, I would say that's not the case, obviously, with all everything. There are some, uh... I feel like whenever I go to, like, an Asian grocery store, I feel like they have the better, the superior candy that is at least a little bit different than when I just 
want to shove sugar in my ass. Coke, Pepsi is too sweet. What about hot sauce? Uh, I mean, I don't have strong feelings about this stuff. Since I started taking ADHD medication because I've been undiagnosed for decades, coffee makes me sleep now and it makes me sad. I miss being able to mainline four shots of espresso and punch God. Yeah, I don't know how I would feel if I couldn't have that feeling, that sour, sickly feeling when you're like, oh, fuck, I drank too much coffee. Would you ever go on Hot Ones if asked? Uh, well, first of all, I think that's a show for actual, <laughs> actual recognizable people, so I would never, ever get asked. But, yeah, probably. I mean, I fear that shit because I don't know how any of those people who have, like, a busy fucking schedule, like, yeah, you know, we're doing Hot Ones, and then we have, like, four more interview stops to talk about fucking Madam Web or whatever. I don't know how they, one of their stops can be, I'm gonna have diarrhea-inducing hot wings and feel like shit the rest of the day and then just go do all these other things. I just don't know how they manage that. They're just, they want this more than I do, I guess. How about hot sauce and coffee? That's my go-to. I've never tried it, but I would, fuck it. <laughs> hot ones is an end of the day activity for me 100 percent. i mean i guess like i mean i'm not saying this applies to only dudes but i feel like dudes often feel the allure of a challenge and suddenly they'll do shit that they would never otherwise do if they think there's a challenge it doesn't even have to be a fucking prize at the end the challenge is apparently enough so I get the feeling that, quiet, I agree with you. But if then someone, some other dude in the room was like, yeah, but you don't think you do in the middle of the day? I'd be like, fine, fucking we're doing it in the middle of the day. Sorry, entertainment tonight. And Red Table or whatever that show is that What's-Her-Face does. <laughs> I don't know why those are the two I picked, but. Okay, hold on. It's not. All right, we got to get really, really pumped and primed for this one. I just don't know how people do it. I, it's just, it's so much. I used to host a Hot Ones, Crack and Fall, hey, by the way. I used to host a, a Hot Ones lineup every software development for my team, but after I hit a certain age, it's like swallowing glass for 24 hours. I've also met people too that uh, like, they just didn't realize that the pain they were feeling was caused by the, the hot sauce or like the spicy stuff, ah! stuff they were eating. Like, I feel like they just thought at random times, they just had really awful experiences crapping, and they just never linked the two until all of a sudden they did, and they're like, oh no. So, hold on. Like, if we just use the left... I can't remember what I was yelled at to do before, not like I really can retain information, but, like, if we go... I like how I see the response, yeah, like that. But the way I read that in my head was like, yeah, like that. Yeah, hold the one hand now. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, now do a, do a quick swing. You're doing so good. And then you just, ha, ha, ha! Okay, I, I, could see, I could see it getting better, though. I'm sure you could, too. It's feeling good. So close, right? Yeah, I felt like that was much closer. Look at this. Look at these big, gorgeous reaches, reachy reaches he's doing. My god, I feel like I actually am a climber now. <laughs> I'm sure anyone who climbs would love to hear that, right? Whoa! Such a feeling of progression. I've I've fallen 13 times already? Can you grab the side of the cliff, or does your hand have to be fully on it? I think... I'm not... sure... of anything... in life, really. As a climber, this pains my fingertips. You wouldn't just wanna... just... I mean, if you could... like, I mean, it's not like climbers are fucking superheroes. Like, they still have to find things they can grip onto. I feel like this guy with his with his crazy grip would be like taking parts of the rock out of this. He's just he's got such strong little little flappers. 
Reach, you little fuck. Reach. Reach like you want it. Reach like it's your goddamn job. Get in there. Get it. Get over there. Huh? Huh? Get, don't you want it? There's fucking Oreos over there. Fuck you! All right, let's use the other hand. What happens if you swim to the edge of the world? You're blocked on both sides by, like, cliff, cliff sides that you can't really do anything with. <laughs> I've had to free climb during my Air Force S-E-R-E training. It wasn't my favorite part of my training. I like the I like the relaxed way of saying it was something that you were not a fan of, but you said it in such a way where it's like, oh, you know, there was there was highs and lows. Yeah. Oh, I saw this question a while ago. Did I play Ultima Online? Boy, howdy, did I play Ultima Online? God, I love that game and miss that game. How big is this map? I have no idea. I've only seen what I've seen. But, uh, yeah, Ultima. God, I loved Ultima Online so much. I was actually talking, like, Shusuke was talking about this in, uh, about Final Fantasy fourteen, But just, like, the house building shit. Ugh! <laughs> or, like, decorating shit. Like, even in, like, I remember doing that all the time in Ultima, just being like, yeah. It's time to get those chairs I want. Yes! Now I can invite guests over. Ha! Ha, 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 ha. Most hated show? Hard to say. I'm not really... Yeah, chairs, thrones, fucking different kinds of lighting. Which, by the way, why is this a thing in survival games? Like, I don't mean to pick on Green Hell, but it always feels like the one. But I guess the forest, all of them are the same, where it's like, we've got this story... If you're, if you're green hell, it's like, oh, you're in the jungle and you're trying to find, like, your wife that's missing and all this stuff. Also, we just introduced a new patch into the game. There's seven new kinds of candelabras for your homestead. It's like, why the fuck is this in the game? Why don't I just... Why, what about my wife? Am I, am I not trying to find her? Why the fuck? <laughs> why? Okay. I don't feel like I learned anything. I feel like I did five minutes ago, but it's gone now. So are we thinking swing with the left, hit with the right? Okay, here we go. Huh! So close. So fucking close. I, do you think he needs to do a full 360 pirouette? Stick the landing and then... And then he can do it? But yeah. I mean, my wife is right there. I can see I'm picking up the trail, but also... These sick candelabras, I mean, what do you... What, what? I'm only human, what do you want me to do? I mean, light is vital for survival. Okay, well, when you say it that way, I think I'm now, I've been fully convinced. And I'm willing to accept that these games know better. Easy. Heh! I see that channel prediction. Five minutes is a really long time. I'm sure you stand to gain a lot of channel points, but what am I... How how am I going to last five minutes? Huh? God, this guy is such a god, though. You know what I love most about these games, by the way? How much my arm hurts from playing them. And I could switch to a gamepad, but why would I do that? You need to be farther down to do that one jump you keep falling on. I need to be farther down? Alright. Alright, I will accept this. Will you play Infinite Craft? Probably not. I'm not gonna rule it out. Because the game looks cool. You'll need rotator cuff surgery from just playing this game. Yeah, but when I go in for it, I'm going to tell him it's just like, yeah, I mean, like, uh, it's like, yeah, how'd you, how did you, uh, how did you injure this again? I know you were, you didn't put it on your form for some reason. Dodging bullets, <laughs> saving kids, you know, casually. That's my volunteer job. I had to take time off from the fire station where only I am on duty. But I saved too many lives. Oh, climbing injury makes a lot more sense, yeah. One. Two ha! Oh, that was a good one. Did you see that? I went really far on that one. 
I feel like I almost could have made it all the way over to the other part over there. Hey, recently found your videos and it's been such a fresh, fresh breath of chaos. Thank you very much. Dark the snake, or I'm sorry, Drake the snake. Uh, thank you for that. So you're saying that I should be farther down, like even this far down? Oh, should I just, should I just, hold on. Oh God, fuck you. No, 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 no. I love it. I asked that question I see in chat, two things right next to each other. Yes, no. Okay. <laughs> no, grab onto the poison sign. You you need it. You love it. Caress it. Caress it like you would caress the default photo in a picture frame and pretend it's your family. What? Okay, so maybe we need to go down. Oh god. Oh no, Likey. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I don't know if you can tell, but if I if I move too much, your hand actually starts to slip. Not not the one that's going nuts, but the run with the one right below it. So I want to be a little bit careful. Excellent breathing technique you've got. Thank you. That was way too specific. I mean, hasn't anyone had that feeling when they pick up that d default picture frame and you're like, okay, your life is too better than mine. <laughs> I don't like this setup scenario where you and your partner look happy. No, oh God! Ah! Hold on, I'm stretching. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm stretching my arm a little bit. Deserved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That felt like a little bit of karma. All right, hold on. Hold on. Why am I wearing a hoodie? It's so warm. Why am I doing this? All right. Okay. Stretch. Stretch those arms. Uh, Josh, what games are you going to play in the future? Uh, the next video coming up is Winter Survival. And beyond that, I'm just going to say it's a secret, which definitely doesn't mean I don't know. Adobe Fish Hacker, thank you for hanging out. If you could o if only you could build a human bone bed life. If only you could build a human bone bed li human bone bed, life would be easier in this game. A human bone bed. I mean, I commas do help, but I understand where quiet's coming from cuz I almost always don't use punctuation. And I've come to realize now, when I ask questions with no punctuation, it causes streamers, rightfully so, to have to sit there and be like, the fuck is the... What? Oh, it's a question. Candelabra... Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, if only I could... Yeah. If only I could complete my bone collection of, of rare antiquities that I've made here in the jungle. Ha! Come on. Come on. No, quiet. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're perfect. I annoy Lolio with my lack of excessive use of punctuation literally all the time. She should be smart enough to understand it. She's British, so... I mean, she should just know. Right? That's fair, right? She's not American like us. Yeehaw! Even though Yusu isn't American. I just wanted any excuse to go, yeehaw! Uh. Uh. <laughs> I hate punctuation, yeehaw. <laughs> and then fire a couple of six shooters. <laughs> Thanks for pinning that. Bees with the knees, everybody. There's always an opportunity to yeehaw. I mean, yeah. God, his hands... Yeah, his hands must look like... You remember that scene in Terminator 2? Spoilers, I guess. When Arnold, like, cuts off his hand to show, like, the robot hand underneath. I assume that's just what his hand looks like now. It's just... Just 
exoskeleton now. Mm hmm. Can I get some yees and ha um, so, some haws and yees in chat? That really fucked with my mind, Megalara. Trying to say ha ye instead of yee haw. I did not like that. <laughs> did. Brain no likey. Oh yeah, those are some those are some good yee haws and also some good ha yees. Easy. Easy. Ha! Ha ye! Okay. We did good. We did good. We did good. Okay. So if I recall, did I was I like here? Is this too high up? Is this too high up? I don't know. This feels good. Let's try it. Ha ye! Okay, you fucking failure. Fucking failure! That was all skill issue, is what that was. You were lower. Your attitude was lower, and that was the problem. <laughs> yeah. So mean. People are just trying to help. That's why you need to do the guttural sounds. Sometimes I think about what I would do if I, like, went back to school. And it's like, I know the reality is I would just be a normal person in society and just, like, not be a distracting piece of shit asshole for everything. But I do like to fantasize about, like, yeah, I would take standardized tests and when the moment I was done or even had to get up to sharpen my pencil or whatever the fuck, just let out a, ha ye Done with my test! Why are you- Hey, why are you all not done? Bet you didn't study as hard, did you? Sucks to suck. <laughs> and then it cut to me, proud of my absolute horrible failing grade. God, look at these losers. You are too happy right now. You need to get more pissed off to make the jump. I can imagine that, yeah. Ugh. Uh, 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 no, no, not that, yeah. sure. Yeah, just do that for a while. Uh, I gritted my teeth at the same time when I was doing that, I don't know why. Like, you just, if you're really feeling it, you're really feeling it. Josh, they won't make your custom Oreo. Fuck! You're right! Fuck you, Oreo! I submitted three separate designs that were all just goatsy or literally a penis. And you denied them all! What the fuck? How dare you have goddamn quality control? The, the second one was even like... Because Quiet actually had... I'm calling Oreo HQ right now. Thank you. Thank you. I knew someone had to know John Oreo and could help me out here. But, like, the second one, Quiet had the idea, like, kind of like it's Discord, right? Because, like, okay, I don't know why I thought this is common knowledge. If you try to send somebody goatsy on Discord, if they have, like, some filtering on it, Discord will stop it. Because Discord knows what this shock Im- Let me back up. Don't- don't Google goatsy, first of all. And second of all, it's basically an internet shock pic picture from, like, 20 years ago. It's just, like, a really graphic picture that when people see, they go, UGH! Anyway, so I tried to submit just Goatsy as an Oreo, because on, on Oreo's site, you can submit, like, a custom design, and they will send you that design on, like, a fudge cover, like, a white chocolate Oreo, and you can d decorate it and shit. And, of course, their, their examples are like, look, you can put your favorite fucking, your high school team on it, and you can all celebrate, or it's like, oh, it's, it's a girl, and you buy a bunch of these Oreos or whatever. That kind of shit. But in my case, I'm like, I just, I just want to see Goatsy on an Oreo. I don't care if I'm paying, like, an exorbitant price for this. I just want to see it. So I submitted it the first time, and they were like, uh, this doesn't meet our quality standards. They were like our content guidelines, and I was, God damn it! And so, the second time, Quiet was like, how about you try to, like, you know, like, what if you turn it, like, upside down, or, like, sideways, or something? Well, that, because... Their site won't even let you do it at this point. I was like, yeah, you're right. I'll add some, like, noise to the image, and I'll turn it on its side. And then I added text on it that just said, proud of you. And that also wasn't enough. It doesn't pass... For some weird reason, it doesn't pass the human review. Lower? All right. All right, chat. I'll trust you. 
So yeah, the next one I've been meaning to try is to find like a nas like a like an actual Nessa, hello. Thank you for the resub. Since when do you worry? I don't worry about the quality guidelines, but I understand that Oreo needs to care. Huh? Ha! Okay, that was close. That was close. Lower? I don't believe you lower, but we'll do it. But yeah, so it's like there's got to be monuments out there, right? Like national, like like natural rock formations. I think they're called hoodoos, right? That look like dicks. So maybe if I just like uh like slip a dick into the picture of actual real things, it'll well not now, because one of you fucks will tell Oreo. We need to just buy a printer that prints icing sheets. You know, I looked into that too. I didn't even know that was a technology until I looked it up. I was like, you know what? If Oreo won't do it, can I just do it at home? Why limit myself? And yes, you can. You can buy printers that print to, I like, food safe printers that print to icing sheets. But I don't know, like part of, part of the, the excitement is trying to get the actual product. I want to get it in the mail. I want it with the nice packaging and the thank you little invoice from Oreo being like, thanks for ordering and we hope your graduation goes well <laughs> or whatever the hell they're going to say on it. Or hopefully they're like, we let it go through this time. We're fucking disappointed in you. The fact that you're treating this quest like it's taking the ring to Mordor is hilarious. This is so important to me, okay? And they mock me, too, because now I'm on their fucking newsletter, and every so often they're like, Easter's coming, you know, you only have so many days left to order your custom Oreos. I'm like, I fucking tried. I fucking tried. You wouldn't let me have this. I wonder, okay, so you can order them in, like, they're, they're really expensive, by the way. So every time I order these, I am secretly hoping they'll deny it, because I'm like, I don't want to know that I paid fucking $12 for four Oreos or whatever. But I wonder if I order, like, the, like, 50-pack or something that's, like, hundreds of dollars, would they just let it... Maybe they would let it go through because I'm paying more? I don't know. Right? <laughs> Could be a thing. Uh, the Mexican beef, thank you for the prime. And again, if you're just joining in, I will be... I know I haven't been reading a lot of the subs and bits and stuff, but I will be reading them at the end of stream. If I miss them. Because I'm just... I want to vibe with chat. I want to become better at this game. One of those two things will happen. Josh, I will pay for 50 cock cookies. I don't... If you mean the Oreo ones, I don't think you will. They're really expensive. They're like... Like... Like, each Oreo is like the same cost as going to the store and buying a whole tray of Oreos. Ha! Ooh. Almost too... too almost too much velocity. Dear me. Watch a motivational bodybuilding video to get hyped for the jump. Can I just watch like eight minute abs? It's not really bodybuilding, but I, I can find that on the internet quickly. Well, that, that'll do. You know, it really works. Hold on, I just got it. <clears throat> no. Okay, here we go. You lied to me. You lied to me. That wasn't my fault at all. It was probably my fault. I don't blame you. I'm sorry. That was... That was... That was harsh. No, no, no. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's okay. You didn't hear... Is that what... Oh, fuck. Was that the problem? Didn't I? You need to thrust jump? Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's practice. Let's practice right here, okay? So let's say this is me. And I'm trying to get to the coffee, and I see someone approaching the coffee machine, or the coffee carafe, or whatever, first. And I'm like, oh, fuck. That motherfucker I know uses cream and sugar, and they never get it right the first, second, or third time. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get to it first. And then I'm just like... Ha! Okay, that wasn't a good jump. Let me try again. Oh, you're right. I didn't do the ha ye. Hold on, hold on. Where did he learn to swim? At swim camp? Just like I went to magic camp as a kid. And that's how I became a sorcerer. Oh, fuck. I didn't even... He let go on that one. That wasn't my fault. Although, that was pretty good. Yeah, he went to... That was much funnier, Cream City, JJW. Thank you. Windmill Camp. That was way funnier. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let's, uh... Let's put this... Put this, uh... I don't think these falls should count as falls. I'm just saying. But, if you want to count them... 
Yeah, so if I... Ah! That could work. That could work. What are falls then? I just mean that these are like test falls. These are trust falls. <sighs> Shusky, I'm going to read that. I, I pre-read it. And you heard the sigh, but I'm going to fucking read it anyway. <laughs> Oh wait, it's off the it's off the screen. Now I can't read it. <laughs> this guy's infinite arm strength to pull himself up the side of a rock, but he can't stand on top of it and leap across a small divide. Well, look, okay, like clearly a different dimension. It's kind of like all those old school RPGs where like if there's something in the way, they can't possibly walk around it or over it or whatever. Although I guess that's still a thing in RPGs. In the in the third dimension. But look, he, he's got rules, he's got ethics, and it's just not part of his code to use his his little his his sumptuous little cap cavsy wavsies. I read it out loud to my boyfriend. <laughs> Bees, thank you. Thanks for saving it. Is he paraplegic or just lazy? You know, when I was when I was young, I broke my my one of my wrists. If you want to know why, it was because I did a backflip on a swing. <laughs> By saving some kids! No, I did a backflip on a swing, broke my wrist, and I had, like, the cast all the way up to your shoulder. Like, it wasn't just, like, it wasn't below the elbow is what I'm saying. So my elbow was stuck in place for months. And when I first got that cast off, I assumed that I would just, like, strengthen it out, and it would be like those fucking chiropractor videos where you watch someone like crack someone's bones and it cracks like 9,000 different ways and you're like well that doesn't sound good but it's still kind of satisfying to hear that's what I thought would happen but no instead I extended my arm and I was like oh this really hurts my arm does not want to bend ever again this is the worst so I assume that's what's happening is this guy was in that pot for like a generation and it's like he wants to use his legs, but they're half asleep and on pins and needles, and also, like, they just kind of hurt to use. That's that's the story I'm going with. Yeah, and I never bent my arm again. I just... It's just an, a perpetual doing the robot shape. And everyone makes fun of me. Easy. Easy. Oh! No, that was, that was dog shit, and I'm dog shit. Fuck! <laughs> the timing was off. That's why you can't make the- Fuck you, bees! <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. Beep boop, it's is Josh AI. Your- your message felt more like an AI than the potential for me to be a voice cloned AI kind of thing. But also, yes. You caught me. When I was a kid, I was trying to do a backflip off a swing, but it was too low. I ended up breaking bones in my foot instead. Oh, God. I don't know which is worse. You mean Oreo elbow? God. The other day, I was talking to someone, and they were like, Have you tried these oranges? And I got distracted, and I had to tell them. I was like, I really got too excited because I thought you said, Have you tried these Oreos? And then you said oranges, and I got really sad. <laughs> that you wanted to talk about disgusting fruit. <laughs> yeah, uh, oranges. There's a new chicken Oreo? Don't lie to me. I would know if that existed. I keep up on all the latest Oreo news. There is no orange Oreo. Fuck you. I know this too. I know there isn't. There's only two new ones out right now. The Oreo Thins that are tiramisu, and also the Dirt Cake Oreos that I call Dirt Star Oreos. You know this. You know this, Warzy. Don't fuck with my heart. These birthday cake Oreos are too sweet. Boy, howdy are they. Like, you want to have some fun? Nothing about this is fun. I remember one time when those first came out, my roommate at the time, we were like, let's go get them. And we bought them, opened them up, and, like bought them from the grocery store, opened them up. Uh, in his car, we each ate one and we're like, these are good, but also disgustingly sweet. And then we went and did other shit and just left them sealed in his car. And we got back to his car later and we're like, oh my god, the whole fucking car smells like frosting. This is awful and great. Space Dunk or actually, I really like the Space Dunk Oreos. 
because I am a hooker for, for marshmallows, as it turns out. Bees, thanks for the two gift subs. Quit your shit. I don't mean it. Bees are cool. Have you tried the donut flavored smart food? Donut flavored smart food. Ah, fuck! No, no, grab, grab! You piece of shit, fuck you. You just wanted donuts, is that what it is? Did I hear you, did I hear you crying a little bit? Were you crying? Huh? <laughs> uh, I have not. Answer is I have not. I left a few hours ago. It went from nipple jets to this. So, it's pretty crazy, right? But uh, Outcast is one of those games where it starts out as a third-person 3D open, at, uh, like open-world adventure game. And then, at a point, it just abruptly turns into a climbing game. Shit's wild in 2024. They couldn't realize their vision back in 1999 when it made the first game, but finally, their, their entire vision can be realized. With no limits. No technological limits. It's 2024 already? Yes. Shockingly. Yeah, it's going to be text-based soon. But then, once it gets text-based, it's going to go to VR. Think about it. <laughs> no, please, please, just hold on to the... There you go. I feel like we're getting better at this. But I don't... <laughs> but I, No! Fuck you! Get back up there! Grab onto it. Like, we're only going up this thing now. Fuck it. We're not using the rock next to it. We're going to make this work. <laughs> Come on. There. You, oh my god, it actually worked. If you beat this, Oreo owes you an apology. Can you imagine if, like, they got this letter? They're like, you guys owe me an apology because I beat a video game on the internet. And them and their entire parent company of multi-billionaires are like, are you... Are you drunk? What... What? No. Josh, have you seen the game coming out that is you time traveling back to medieval times and battling with guns and grenades against knights? No, but that sounds theoretically awesome. Do you remember the movie Time Cop? Starring Jean-Claude... I'm sorry, I didn't... Ah! Starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, who is a cop who goes forward and backward in time. It could be like that. Wait a second, did you know there's a simple contact? A contact contact us form for Oreo sponsorships? Oh my god. Oh my god, should I just end stream now? And just be like Just address them as bro. Bros. May I please May I please have do it on stream? What if I have to get my address and stuff? Should I just dox myself entirely? I guess that's the only choice, right? If, if I'm going to be serious about Oreo. If you're serious about Oreo, obviously you dox yourself. Okay. I don't want to go lower than this. I'm scared. I want to get my hand a little farther away from the edge. So we're going to... Hold on. Huh! One. And we're going to do one of two. Ha! That was so close. Maybe I do need to be lower, okay? I'll I'll trust chat this time, I'll go lower. Are you supposed to be climbing down? Ha 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 You need a tip? Is it gonna be You need to get better at the use both hands for that jump? What do you mean? I uh what do you mean? Yeah, never trust chat. Play better. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Gauss. Thank you. <laughs> well, these games always have that, like, make or break it point, right? Where it's like, okay, we've kind of, uh, we kind of gave you the keys to the kingdom to see if you like what you see. And, uh, if you can't hack it, then, uh, then, then you don't get to, uh, you know, you don't get to go to the bed chambers. I don't know why that's my analogy. Did anyone see that there's a mod now? Or maybe this was a mod for a long time and I just now saw it because it reached, like, the gaming media. But that, like, there's, like, a Muscle Mommies mod for Final Fantasy VII Remake. 
on PC that it just makes all of the characters like just amazingly buff. Old news? Is that old news? Okay, never mind. Well, it's not old news to everybody. <laughs> but honestly, that's all I want from a Final Fantasy game. I don't know if I can play a Final Fantasy game just like vanilla anymore. I need it to... I need every fucked up possible mod added. Like, when I played, um, this isn't Final Fantasy, but when I played Resident Evil 2 Remake, which is really fucking good, it was made better by when I added the Leon, I played as Leon. When I played with the cat boy Leon skin, where all he's wearing is like cat ears, and he has like tight little underwear on with his dick tucked upwards in his his underwear. <laughs> and there's something like even better. Like, yeah, his penis could just be out. And that's one thing. But there's something so much funnier to me about it. And the idea that's like someone went and modeled this and it looks pretty fucking like it looks pretty, pretty graphically integrated into the game. <laughs> and just tucked up there. And then playing every single cutscene where everyone's talking to him like this is completely normal is so fucking great. Okay, so you really think I need to be this low? You think I need to be this low? This sounds like some shit. This sounds like some goddamn lies. Also, if you need help and need to know how to jump, shit, it's off the page. Swing off the bone up there. I don't think that's going to work. Do I trust chat? Nah. On the rock above it. All right, we're going to try it. We're going to try it. Okay, I'm going to go with both hands this time because fuck you, that's why. Huh! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, and if you're if you're um here from my YouTube audience, I'm really sorry, but um I I don't swear on the YouTubes and I keep it pretty family friendly, but here I don't have it's live, so I don't have nearly that level of self control. I'm sorry in advance. I don't like this at all. I don't know how I just Alright, we're gonna <laughs> What are you doing? What is this? We're all ah! Where were we? What's this game called? The difficult game about swimming? Yeah. Ha 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 Get your fine ass up there. I feel like, okay, if I had more mouse space, I think you can really like, watch this. Let me get lower again. Okay. Like if I start the mouse as I'm doing this, like you can really, oh God, I'm sure that's what the speed running tactic looks like. And I bet it looks fucking horrifying to watch this human Spider-Man just, like, creepily glide up every obstacle. God. I am feeling a lot like, like, uh... Never mind. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about it if we're doing well. In this game or for anything. Okay, here we go. I have I've been forgetting to use the thrust as much as I probably probably could. And now I'm getting a little bit bold. Just, I'm not even trying that hard. Like all I'm doing is thrusting and trying to grab with both hands. All right, Josh, use use a little more finesse, please. Oh, you are doing this yourself. Which part? So, by the way, if you're just joining and you're like, what the fuck? Here's how the controls work, right? Like, my mouse is what moves you around. Left click. Like, you move your, you can move both hands, but since one hand is holding, it doesn't move. But, like, left click holds with your left hand. Right click holds with your right hand. So, I'm basically using the mouse and left and right click to do all this stuff. And you can also do a thrust with, I think it's W and also spacebar. Good job, buddy. Good job. You can also grab with Q and E. I can't. This is too much now. What is this fucking school? You want me to learn more than one thing at a time? 
Spacebar is useless. What do you mean? You're useless. I didn't mean that. I'm sure you're great at something. Everyone's got one thing that they're really good at. Like, you know, some people are really good at standardized tests. I think I can't remember what mine is. You're really good at crying? Excellent. Excellent. That is a good skill to have because who doesn't love to cry, huh? Oh, hey, hey, Lollip. I'm good at being a stripper. <laughs> Look, we all have we all have our one thing. And if that's what your one thing is, good. Good for you. Oh, daddy. I'd say feral streamer noises. That's that's my skills to go. Ah! No, fuck you. Oh yes, thank you for the shout out. So, so Lollip, who just joined in chat, and also thank you for the sub again. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. Um, very, very, very good friend of mine. Very, very funny. Super duper fucking funny. Come on, fucking, what is this bullshit? You got the big bubbles. What the fuck does that even mean? I just said all these nice things. And this, this is your, this is what you say to me? You sound sarcastic. No, no, no. I think I think that Lollip is really, really funny. All the people that I recommend are people that I actually watch. You got bubbly in your tummy. T it's true. You're right, actually. I've been drinking a little bit of the sparkly water. And you're just giving me the tumblers. Wow, obsessed. God damn it. <laughs> Piece of shit. You sound spirit. You know, I always love it. Isn't that like when... When, when people say like, Oh, you finally don't look tired today. You're spe- ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. We've learned together that if we- eh, and we go- eh, And we go- eh, And we hold our hands together like that scene from Ghost. And just hold them. One. And- Oh! That one didn't feel good. I felt that wasn't gonna make it. But that's okay. That's okay. I gotta start going on that first swing if it feels right. I think that's part of the problem. As you can probably tell, I am shitting, so Lollip, I'm always so proud of you. You know what I hope for you, Lollip, since you're also a streamer? That people should be watching. Do you ever just feel tempted, Lollip, in that fucking Twitch app where you can just go live from, from the app? Do you ever just, just, do you ever let the invasive thoughts win and you're like, I should just push this? Front facing camera on, everyone can just see me from like, it's like a snuff film kill angle looking the, from down looking up at you is you're just staring down at it with a blank expression while you're taking a shit i feel like this has to be a thing all streamers feel right like they're just they're just sitting there and it's just like well i am taking a crap but yeah specifically when shing see that's the spirit yeah because it has to be the least tantalizing thing possible it has to be like, I don't want to ever be like, oh, I'm in the shower. Oops. No, but I want to be like, yep, third dump of the day. I'm looking I'm looking distressed and dehydrated. Now's the time. Face reveal. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, good. You're going to have one of those, one of those, like, one of those farts that lasts so long and impresses yourself. Or like you start to get distressed. Like, you ever have that when it's like, you slept all night, finally, and then, I'm not speaking from experience, and then you get up and you're like, wow, I have to piss, like, ten generations worth. And then you're stand- or in my case, standing. But we're sitting there, and you're like, how the fuck long is this gonna go? I have shit to do. I can't be here all day. Finish pissing. Okay. 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 Yeah, Lion King's waiting for me. That's what I get out of anyway. I don't remember if this was the spot where we're going to do it. One and two is the one. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my. <laughs> Such a show off. God, that was just all, all fucking just. 
just the finesse he showed there. Oh god, I'm so okay. Ready? See if we can do this. Oh. 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 One time I held my farts. Bees, I can't. Okay, here we go. Bees said this. One time I held my farts so long when I let it out. It rumbled like a volcanic explosion. It was a 400 decibel fart. I wish someone heard it but me. <laughs> You're like, who do I text? Who's gonna believe me? Who's gonna believe and love this as much as I believe and love this? Oh! Okay, 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 we're learning. We're learning. All you need to know is we're learning. Just stretching my arms while still holding the buttons down. Okay. 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 Is today Saturday? You know what I've been really enjoying? Is daylight savings time changing over here in North America, but not changing over on the Europe side? Well, I don't know if it's... Is it all of Europe? I'm just only thinking of the UK, because, like... Because I watched Lollip, who is who is in the UK, and now we're an hour closer together. No, farther apart? Close, closer together? Fa cl closer? Because no... <sighs> closer, yeah. So all I mean is, like, uh, there's some streamer, there's a UK streamer that I watch, Captain Badger Tail, who is also incredible and hilarious. But she starts her streams at like 8 p.m. Eastern or 8 a.m. Eastern because she, you know, starts at a, at a reasonable time in the UK. But now I feel like because she starts at 9 a.m. Eastern, I feel like I catch so much more stream. I want it to stay that way. UK, change nothing, please. Because I need it. I'm so happy I can catch Captain Battertail. Yeah, it's just, it's so much harder when they have UK, which makes sense. They would have UK schedules, obviously. But it's also like, but I don't want to get up at 8 a.m. That sounds awful. I ate Jolly Ranchers all night. I can't get up for anything. I don't know how I feel about the fact that I feel like I'm improving. <laughs> it just, it doesn't feel natural. Ah, ah, ah. Well, that's what I get for saying that, I guess. Yeah. It's hard for us on the West Coast to catch, yeah. And so I'm from the West Coast, but and I love the West Coast, but I will say this. I'm on the East Coast now, and the East Coast is definitely a better time zone. If that makes... Well, there's no better... You know what I mean. Hopefully you know what I mean. Like, it just feels so much more convenient. Like, most of my family is still on the West Coast. And there were so many times when I'd be like, Oh, fuck, I forgot to call my grandma or something like that. Because I'm like, Oh, shit, now it's 11 p.m. I can't call her at 11 p.m. But now that I'm on the East Coast, I can be like, oh shit, it's only eight. Everything's working out. That's my only example. I'm in Alaska, it's even worse, I can imagine, yeah. Or like that, or like Hawaii, I imagine, is also a lot of, a lot of figuring that out. EST is definitely a more convenient time zone. I moved from Washington to Florida. That's a, that's like from one corner to the other. Good, I, I'm very... I'm very pleased with myself for knowing basic geography of the United States. But yeah, that's a that's a that's quite the move. Quite the culture shift too. I imagine well, I guess it also depends on if you're moving from like a big city to another big city or uh there's probably a lot of factors. But also like the weather, I'm sure is very different. Traveling from EST to whatever Hawaii is messes you up. Yeah. Well, also Hawaii, I feel like is like the vacation spot that sucked but still did it. For like, I feel like if you live on the West Coast and you're taking like like a big vacation, it's like Hawaii is like the place you always go to. Because <laughs> it's just, it's air quote right there. All right, all right, well, ready? Ready? Okay. One. Two! Oh, 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 oh. Just not enough grip. Coffee, I like the, I like the excitement followed by the O. Oh. Thank you, Super Pack. Thank you, Anaski. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> I'm from New York, but live in Washington now. I like the East Coast better, but I like it being earlier here for streams I watch. Yeah, there's like pros and cons to all that stuff. 
I remember there's like a bunch of deal sites I like to look at, and when I moved to the the East Coast, I was like, oh, but but Woot doesn't Woot.com doesn't change their deals until until 1 a.m. now. I liked it so much more when it was 10. I don't want to stay up till one for a disappointing deal. Fuck. Now I'm just getting lazy. No, no, no. Get your fine ass. There you go. <laughs> I have to say, this game, pretty fun. Pretty fun, pretty great, like you. One of my favorite streamers is an Aussie. And I can only ever catch his streams if I happen to have a day off. Yeah, and... Like, I think VODs are great, to be clear. And if you're watching this on the VOD, hi, hello. I'm, 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 I, I was gonna say something super creepy, but never, oh my God, how is he holding on? Oh wait, he's not, that's how. But uh, there's obviously something a little bit magical if you can catch the live thing and be able to talk to the thingamabob and, and you know, you'll be able to yell at streamer, even if they don't see your message, you can still just be like, Streamer, do that thing I want! There's even been times, I think, where I've been watching VODs and I go to type, and I'm... <laughs> I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but why can't I get this now? Why can't I... Why? But, like, I'll go to type, and then I'll realize, like, oh, oh, right, this isn't live. And then you feel that stark, sudden realization. It's like, oh, wait, nobody's actually here. Oh, God. What happened to me? I used to be something. <laughs> Fucking get up there. <laughs> yeah, you suddenly just feel just the the echoes of the universe. Wh why? Are your arms getting tired? Are mine? What's happening here? I agree. Being a hardcore lurker, I honestly rarely view VODs because it's just so different from witnessing it in real time. Yeah, it's just there's something kind of magical about it. I mean, there's like radio shows. God, this sounds like... I sound so old when I say it this way. Or like, I guess it's just like VODs. Like, there's some things you can go back and definitely watch. Or some streams that you just, you develop that relationship with because you can't see their VODs live. I mean, their, uh, their, their streams live. Explaining Josh to game developers be like watching Josh play this game. <laughs> I have to believe, I, I don't know this from, I've only talked to like a couple of game developers, like in general to the games that I've played. But I'm almost positive that any weird thing I've done in a game, they're like, they weren't unaware of it. Like, maybe occasionally. Like, there was one time I played this game called Dwaros, where I discovered it was, which is like a game where, like, you're a dwarf and you build, you have to, like, do questing and shit. But also, you can build your own little, like, city and stuff. Anyway, the point is, is there's people out in the world that you can recruit, and they have little tents and stuff. And I just happened to come across a bug while I was playing it where a tent can spawn like in the exact spot where you're running and then force you under the world and then you can do some weird shit. And I was talking to one of the developers and she was like, I can't believe you of all people found that bug, something none of us have ever seen before. And you of all people happen to just stumble across it. Whenever that happens, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I got lucky. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Also, what Trun is saying, which is, uh, you know, like, you know, QA people, like, that's the thing is, like, I feel like QA people are a million times, I mean, I can't imagine, I feel like QA people would look at what I do and be like, yeah, of course, because it's, like, all this weird shit that, like, has some crossover, but it's, as, as Trun is pointing out, like, they're concentrating more on shit that's, like, like, that they need to make sure is good for when they launch. I remember, uh, my... My, uh, stream, my, not my stream partner, my recording partner, Anthony, would talk about that since he has a bunch of game development experience. Um, and I learned all kinds of stuff that I would have never guessed about, like the standards about, like, what needs to be on a loading screen. What needs to happen when you plug, like, unplug a controller or plug in a new one. Like, what are all the use cases for that that, that could, like, brutally fuck something up for someone? But if it's like, hey, you can build in the sky and do weird shit, I imagine that's more like, well, if you want to play that way, fine. And I would say oh, that most of the shit I do is like pretty accessible to everybody. It's really just more like, do you want to waste your time doing the same bullshit I'm doing? <laughs> and I think that's what it comes down to. It's like, you can. You know you're wasting your time, though. That you could just be having fun. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Is this the right way? Where am I? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? So our right is. Yep, it is. Wait, no, was it the other way? Fuck. At some point, I'm going to be doing this noise, and you're just going to hear, like, <laughs> as I just pass out from it. I enjoy watching people play these games, but I'd be insane by now if I was playing it. There's something kind of zen about games like this. I was watching another streamer play, like, the, the re-release of Tomb Raider, and they had the same comment about... Like, they felt it had kind of the same, the, the same, uh, like, zen feeling where you just kind of keep doing the same thing over and over and over. But it's like, it feels kind of chill, you know? You just keep at it until, until, until you get it or you don't get it. And that's what this view. Almost lost my shit. That's, that's how this game feels, you know? That's what people say about Souls games. Yeah, you know, it's just you get into like a Zen thing and then, uh, and then, you know, you see, you just wake up. It's like, it's like playing League of Legends, you know, you just, you just keep at it and then you realize you are a viciously unhappy person, <laughs> but you can't stop now. You're in too deep. So you just have to keep going. Like, what was it for? If you don't like, you can't justify all those fucking skins you bought if you quit now, right? Can you play this game if you love yourself? Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, it depends what you mean by love yourself. Also, our QC testers are the people who open and close every door in the level a hundred times. Bless their souls. God, the true, the true heroes. The true gods. I, uh, uh, uh. I never feel this deeper too, like when I when I feel the need to thank QA testers as when I'm playing like a game, like I'm actually just trying to play a game. I don't know what it is, like, I don't know if anyone else feels this way in particular, but I feel like I have a hard time following tutorials anymore. And I don't mean like, like I just skip them and say like, fuck this, I can figure it out. I mean like, I'll sit there and really try and be like, man, I followed every instruction, I still feel confused. And then also happen to like, sequence break something. And then I'm like, oh cool, I'm just stuck in the tutorial now. What the fuck did I do? If I did this on purpose, awesome, but I don't know what I did! And then I leave a bad review and tell them everyone who worked on the game was bad. No, I don't do that. The only thing I bitch about is Supermarket Sim. Which will probably pay, play for a video, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. We're getting a little bit farther every single time. Th thanks, Unavailabler, for believing in me. Why the supermarket sim hate? So I'm, I mean, it's like, it's like 50% memeing on it, but it's also because like, I play so many of those bullshit simulator games and they all, not only do they like feel exactly the same, but like, I've noticed a sort of upsetting trend where like, they're like, it, f I can't know this, but it feels really strongly like they're pumping up their numbers artificially. And so what I mean is like, I use a site called steamcharts.com. There's also steam DB where you can look up concurrent players on Steam. Obviously, there's other storefronts, but when we're talking about a game like Supermarket Sim, I think it's only on Steam? So you can have an idea of how many... You can sort of gauge some, some metrics of popularity based on how many people are playing it, especially if it's, like, very noteworthy. So as an example... Here, I'm going to motion with this guy as if this helps. Like, you've got Pal World that, you know started down here at zero and then it launched and it just went straight up as far as how many people were playing it and how many people were talking about it and all that stuff and that's like pretty noteworthy because most games don't just go boop straight up like that they usually have like a gradual and sometimes it just stops there and then that's it and then it just kind of stays somewhere down here you don't usually have the games that are like out of this world crazy right especially when it comes to the simulator games that i play like the bullshit simulator games if this is zero and, it, like, they usually go, like, whoop, and that's about it. And it's found its audience, and that's kind of it. It never goes beyond that, right? <laughs> but, so, like, I played, like, I played, uh, what fucking game did I first play where I was, like, what the hell is going on here? So I played, I played Car for Sale, 
And one of the reasons I chose to pick up Car for Sale is I was confused because the game had like... I think I want to say a couple thousand people playing it at the same time, which is pretty high for a simulator title of that type. And it also had like a lot of good reviews. And I was like, okay, well, this game appears to be something people like. I don't understand why, so let's play it and find out. And then when I was done playing it, it's like, I just, I was like, I don't understand why this, this, this doesn't feel quite right. Like something about these numbers don't match up to the quality of the actual game. And then another game launched, which was a state agent simulator, where like it launched and immediately had a bunch of Steam reviews. And that's not normally what happens with those kinds of games. Normally it's like you have zero reviews, then you get like two and you get like five and then maybe you get like 11 more or some shit, right? Or your estate agent sim where it's like day one, zero, or like day zero, zero, launch day, boom, a whole bunch of revu reviews. And it's like, I don't believe for a second this is happening, especially because this game feels very similar to this other game. Very confusing. And then I saw like the amount of people playing it kind of burst a little bit higher. And then I saw like, you know, just, just tons of Steam reviews coming in. Is that called astroturfing? I think, I don't know. Might be from a couple of other YouTubers. Well, I mean, so that, and then it also happens like I play the game, uh, Beautiful OB plays the game, Komodo Gaming plays the game. Like they, we all play this and now people are actually paying more attention. So all that being said, then we have Supermarket Sim where I saw it before it came out and I was like, this just looks like all the others. It's like you, you do a supermarket, fine, whatever. And the fact that it went instead of on launch day, instead of being like, boop, 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 it went wham to the fucking stratosphere. I think right now, if you look it up, there's like, well, I looked at it yesterday. There's like 45,000 people playing it. That doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. Now, that being said, it could be legitimate, especially because there's a shitload of like big high quality streamer, like high impact streamers playing it so that's probably driving a lot of sales and the game is actually in my opinion far more functional and far more playable than the other games i mentioned so it's hard to know it's really hard to know yeah like it just it's just it doesn't it doesn't feel quite right has this been causing everyone a lot of anxiety <laughs> all right let's go where were we so, in, yeah, in conclusion, Supermarket Sim is the greatest game ever made. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm playing it now. It's actually not bad. So, that I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, it's it's not that it's bad. It's that I have a problem. I, I get frustrated when I think their numbers are inflated. And, like, it's just, it's very, it's it's it, it bothers me. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Ha! All that for that, huh? <laughs> Most studios are always looking for playtesters, by the way, so, like, check the sites for local game studios. It's a fun experience. You get swag and, and fed, and your feedback is taken very seriously and acted upon. Yeah, I actually, before I, like, I didn't end up going this path, but QA, like, when I stopped being a filmmaker, I moved back to Northern California, where I where I had been before, um, and I didn't live there at the time. But, like, I went back to San Francisco, and I was like, I should look for QA jobs. Because, like, there's a lot of game studios up there. I ended up going a different route, and I got into, like, business management shit, which... Ugh. But anyway, like, but yeah, there's a lot of, lot of, lot of QA opportunity from what I can see. <laughs> and by the way, just, just to put a, put a cap on the supermarket sim thing. Again, I can't possibly know if those numbers are, are artificial or not. It's just a feeling I get when I look at it. But there is entirely, it's entirely possible that... You know, it just organically just exploded and did really well. I still don't believe it, but it's possible. Ha! Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Fuck you, bees. Don't you ever lie to me again. A lot of super, a lot of simulator games are terrible though. Parking simulator bored me. Supermarket just feels better. Some numbers might be right. I don't doubt that the game is signif significantly more of what it claims to be. Because like supermarket, I mean, um, parking lot sim to me is basically not a game. Like it has elements of things that feel like a game, but it doesn't feel like an actual product to me. If I, I don't know how how else to better describe this, because I'm talking about it in a weird nebulous way. 
but like it just has all the elements of something that just it doesn't feel like an authentically created game to me there's just something about it okay here we go yeah and then ha! maybe they had their marketing on point i don't know if they had any marketing is the thing Can you imagine if this game had upgrades? Maybe it does. And yes, getting into quality assurance, quality control is uh, the best way to get into the game industry. You get to experience a lot of different areas. Uh, Tron, I am going to disagree and say the best way is to know someone who can get you a job without doing anything. No, I'm kidding. I'm completely kidding. If you're, gonna, if you're going fast when you grab the surface, you just slap off it. Uh, like if I'm, I think he slides, I mean, he slides a little bit, but he doesn't, uh, thingamabob, like watch. Yeah, he does a little bit of a, he does a little bit of momentum. He has to catch himself and watch as his fingers get, get, uh, shredded down to the bone. Does the water wheel spin? It does spin. I just think you should know that I'm doing yard work with your stream on full volume, so the whole neighborhood gets to be subjected to the screams. Hi, neighbors. There you go. A little, little something special just for the neighborhood. I don't know why my voice hurts after stream. It's the weirdest thing. That was my uh, that was my Optimus Prime filter that I do sometimes. My, oh, I'm sorry. What I meant is that's the button I push for Optimus Prime to come into the room. I mean, it doesn't sound... Uh, fuck my... No! 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 It doesn't really sound like Optimus Prime, but, but we can believe, and that's what matters most, right? If a surface is curved inward, do you slip down it or just fall straight down? So I don't think the, the curvature matters so much as, like, this stuff right here... This... This... This green stuff right there is slick. So if I grab on, he actually slides down it. I don't think that means you can't use it for stuff. It just becomes... It's very slidey. Have you tried not falling into the water? What the fuck? Did you just say to me? This is Optimus Prime. I am here to tell you to shut the fuck up. We've defended your planet for more generations than we can count. And then I have to listen to your little bitch ass shit talk a streamer. What was it all for? Next time, I'm not gonna leave the bedchambers where I've left Bumblebutt. And instead, I'm just going to say, stay and have myself a weekend. What do you think of that, humanity? Eat my Optimus dick. Optimus, that's not cool. That's that's too far. I know you're feeling sassy because it's Saturday. But we got we to gotta tone it down a notch. This is still Twitch.tv. You can't just say, yeah, have a brewski and relax. <laughs> No, fuck. <laughs> My fault. I'm quite surprised that there isn't little glitches in a game like this one. I mean, there probably is, right? But like, so I think that this this particular genre, I think part of the fun, it really is just the struggle because like, I don't know, you can say my videos are a lot of different things, but I think one of the core parts of it is just doing something that is challenging and also sort of dumb and mind numbing. That's kind of part of it, right? In a sense. Well, it is for me anyway. And I think that's part of it. Part of this is it's like, you know, the uh the the war of attrition, I guess. Am I using that correctly? Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, thank you very much for your content. You really helped me through some of the toughest time, times in my life so far. I hope you continue doing what you love, and I'm here for whatever that is. Welcome in, first of all, and thank you, uh Mansenden for really nice, really nice comment. And I'm glad I can I'm glad I can help out. I know I've, I've said this a couple of times, but you know, I too have had in in the past e way before I became a YouTuber myself, but like I had you know uh YouTubers that I watched that like helped me through tough times too and it's you, 
I, I would have never really imagined that people would be saying that about my stuff, and it's it's really cool to hear. And I'm glad it does. And if my shit wakes you up in the middle of the night because there's some, like, sudden part where there's, like, a sound effect that was too loud and I didn't mix it right, I'm sorry. Your, <laughs> I see the thank you, but I see the message that says your voice is very soothing, and I'm over here going. I think I was going to pass out. I had to stop. <laughs> Is this man okay? It's the first thing I see. Okay. Ha! No. Ha! Ha! What do you mean, what was that? What are you talking about? We're just playing a video game. Passing out is good for content. Well, when you say it that way, I can't resist. That's like a... Yeah, that's like streamer catnip, right? The moment we think something is good for content. My ears feel violated. What do you mean? Why? I have to stop. I have to stop or I won't stop. And then I'll wake up one day and I can't talk anymore. And it'll just be only aggressive, quick breathing. I'll have you know, I graduated top of my class at Twitch Online Streamer School. I have over 100 followers and I know how to watch chat. And I have a GTX 4090 Ti. You just typed yourself into a world of shit. Fuck. Is it too late to appall- Oh god, he's on the slick part. If I let go of one hand, what's gonna- RIP- oh. Music, are you just done? You just give up on me? God, that was a close one, wasn't it? Your fingernails must be so buff. Oh my god, I hadn't considered that. I thought it was just his, his like... I mean, for sure he doesn't have any fingerprints anymore. But more than that, yes. You can't, you, I assume when you're doing this kind of, kind of work, that's what we'll call what he's doing. You can't help but grip on with the fingernails, I'm sure. Nope, 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 get up this thing. Nope, just get, get your fine ass up there. Okay, okay. Yeah, slap. Sometimes I've done this when I want to get my wife's attention just like a little bit. Like she's actually present and paying attention. But I'll just start like I'll just like if there's an if okay, like a like a cookie sheet is a good example of something where I'm just like, "Hey, are, are you listening? Hello? Hello?" <laughs> she's done nothing to deserve this. Except be in the same room. That'll teach her. <laughs> I don't know how to not do the uh, goblin voice or the goblin breathing now. I think it's just part of the equation. Oh my god, Argmi Pickle. That is amazing. I love that, that combination. How has she not murdered me? I don't know. I honestly don't. I really don't know. All right, here we go. And... 
Okay. 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 Two up. Two high up. Here we go. Okay. So what do we, what do we think? Like halfway is probably... Right? Okay. No! <laughs> I thought he was going to get beheaded right there. He slid off a little too quick. Did you know that the dev had to make the arms mega long to make it look real? That's why the shadows of the arms are very long. I did not notice that the arms were very long. Like... I can imagine that being the case. I don't want to give away a spoiler from the video I make that I, like, that will be releasing. But I have noticed in many games I've played that, like, you know, you do a lot of optical illusions of stuff that you know are in the background or in the distance where a player is not supposed to ever get close to that item, but they need to be able to recognize what it is. And then if you do get close to you're like, why is this item so hilariously large or small? Smaller than it, or larger than it's supposed to be. But it's like, well, it helped it read. Movie magic, right? Oh, no. <sighs> you hooker, stay on. Stay, use your little hooky, your ten little hookies, and you just stay right on. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, Boundary Break is great for the, I agree. Boundary Break is a great YouTube channel. I haven't bothered, so if anyone doesn't know, Boundary Break is like a channel where this guy uh, sort of like goes, basically moves the camera outside of the game's normally seen boundaries and gives you a look as to like some of the little like trickery that's done in a lot of games or like stuff that's like loaded in different areas that you wouldn't normally see. It's all really fascinating, especially like if you're like me and you don't really know much about game development and you don't know how like what tricks are used to do what. We're, we're like, you know, in my world, in my viewpoint, when I'm playing Grand Theft Auto V, it's like, oh, there's just a whole world around me. I don't need to think about, like, what assets are streaming in or, you know, just what... That was stupid of me. No. I don't even need to climb up to this thing, I don't think, but it's just so fun to do it, right? To do a full fucking <laughs> flip like that. Yeah, this is basically like GURP. Yeah, this is very similar to GURP. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Music? What the fuck? Hold on. What is going on with you, music? Why do you keep stopping, huh? What are you too good to play? You too good you you too good to be to be music? Huh? You gonna cry? You gonna fucking cry? Okay, we're back. Where was I? Why does my arm hurt so much? Maybe use the bone? I don't think I can. Here, let me show you. If I grab it, it's like really slick. You see that? Like, watch here. I'll grab it. I'll try to grab it with both hands even. And then if I move, like... Okay, a little, little too high octane. Okay, there we go. Left arm or right arm? Right arm. But I know it's because I have like a rotator cuff issue. So I'm assuming it's related to that. That, I, that I've made worse with... Uh, with playing Beat Saber all the time. Not a euphemism. Desert Ice, thank you for the resub. Joshua! Okay, here we go. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That was the good stuff right there. Use your bone. You're a bone. Oh, my God. Got you. I got you in front of all these people. God damn. You got got. Oh, fuck. Fuck. No, 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 no. That was almost instant karma. Has a viewer ever bumped into you in public and realized who you were? It hasn't happened yet. I have met people who know who I am because, like, I met a few people at PAX East last year. I went to PAX East last year and met a couple of people. Um, and then there's, like, people that n knew who I was through my wife, where she has, like, a normal person job. And they're like, wait, your husband is this YouTuber that my kids watch? What the fuck? Huh? I suck. I am the one that sucks, and now we all know it. And now my guy's gonna stand here and be doing weird, like... I think he's making the Wu-Tang... I think, yeah, I think he's 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 doing the Wu-Tang stuff with his fingertips in the, in the background there. I 
I think you can just reach it. I don't... Oh, actually, you're... You can't just reach it, but I think that's the way I did it last time, is I reached and then, like, gave him a little, like, thrust. That kid who was like, oh, if it's not Let's Game It Out, they don't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was right. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was the daughter of one of my wife's, like, work colleagues, is this girl... I'll just, I'll just go ahead and tell the story, which it's like... Uh, my wife's co-worker found out I'm a YouTuber, and... Co-worker goes home and tells her daughter, like, yeah, it turns out so-and-so works, like, work, her husband's a YouTuber. And she's like, whatever, mom. If it's not Let's Game It Out, it doesn't matter. And, uh, co-worker was like, actually, I think that's who it is. And this is like a 14-year-old girl. And the girl's like, wait, really? And then proceeded to leave the dining room table where they're having dinner and, like, run around the house screaming. <laughs> Uh, I did, I did meet her at the, their company Christmas party, which was, which was super cool. I don't have a picture. They took a picture. I just didn't think to take my own for some reason. But yeah, I thought, I mean, I thought that was adorable. And when I met her, she had like, she had written down questions she wanted to ask. Which I thought was adorable too. Hey, I get the idea of running around, running around screaming. I like to do that anyway. Oh, only one hand, huh? One. Nope, that sucked. That would have been bad. Everyone would have died. All of us. If I, if I tried that jump. This one on the other hand! Okay. I am feeling a little upset that this is getting to be a little bit easier-ish. So yes, I think what I did last time is I reached and then I thrust it! I'm so scared. Oh god, oh god, look at that, that's all fingertips. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. Just gotta get in position. And then, I gotta just like... Oh god. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll get this. We'll get we'll get this. I swear. Huh. Get that left hand farther over. Farther over. I'm only human here. LGIO streaming a lot lately. Yeah, I've done two streams in the space of 30 days. Racking it up. Bro, left hand higher. Talking about the game still? Gotta use goblin voice? That might have been the problem. I'm only gonna accept the information that I hear that I want. That's a lot for you. It is a lot for me. No, reach, reach like you fucking care. I am really enjoying this game though. I don't know if this looks fun. My wrist and arm probably think it's less fun. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Do you ever watch Neebs Gaming? I'm familiar with Neebs Gaming. I don't... I can't remember the last time I watched the video personally, though. Which is not to say I haven't, but I'm not like a regular viewer or anything. Oh no, I dropped my bits! I hope no one slips and drops. They're causing a chain reaction. Well, there are... I have hype trains turned off, so there wouldn't be a hype train. But, I get the point. And thank you. Thank you for the for the 500 bits. Do you still do streams with JoJo? I haven't in a, in a while, no. My shoulders and neck are tense for you in sympathy. Oh yeah, I should also... Let me, let me try to relax my shoulders. This might be too much because it's starting to reflect my voice. Is this the Cauldron Dude? I think it's supposed to be like sort of an homage to the Cauldron Dude. Can I just... I'm just going to do this from here. But it's supposed to be similar, like same same looking dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 What game are you working on for my next video? I've been playing a game called Winter Survival. It's it's just about done. It's just about done, but it should come out next week. Uh, come on. Ha! Ah! Okay, like right up there. Right up there in the taint? Is that high enough for you? I don't know if I can get higher than that. 
Okay, what do you want me to do? You want me to go higher? Your winter survival? Thanks. Thanks, Larkshade. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed something. Right in the wrong gooch. Here's what, I, here's what I've been doing, by the way. I don't know if, if it came across, but I was trying to give it a little bit of a, a little finesse. Oh, fuck, you're right. I didn't use goblin voice. So with my hand, I was trying to do like a little finesse. Like, instead of going like, hoo, ha! I was trying to give it a little like... Like... Huh? Like, ta-da! Huh? Huh? Ha! I thought it would work. It still might. We don't know. Try reaching without letting go. I don't think you can, but I will try again. I think you need to perform 20 plus practice swings. You mean to be like, and then uh, and we go, ha, huh. and then we just try and, ha, huh. ha. Huh. We'll give it a shot. We'll see. You can reach without letting go. You can reach without letting go. Can I? Whoa, whoa, buddy. Whoa. <laughs> you have to ease your hand onto it. Everyone's got a goddamn opinion, don't you? Who hot hit hat hit hit. Hit, 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 hit. All right, Josh, stop getting so fucking sloppy. Goblin. Oh, oh, that was a that was a pro move. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> huh. I guess I don't need to be playing it this way, but it's starting to feel really good to add. A little pizzazz, a little spice to everything. <laughs> Use your toes. It's the Q and M buttons. Don't you ever lie to me. I'm pushing Q right now. You know what? You know what's happening when I push Q? This is E. This is Q. Don't you ever lie to me again. Yeah, can you imagine if you had this guy's upper body strength? It would be fucking phenomenal. If you go too fast, it's uncomfortable for the... Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And we're not on that planet from Outcast where everyone's having just a constant, constant stream of orgasms due to the atmosphere. I'm sorry, there was a, there was, there was a, there was a creator of the game in, in chat, and I really hope that <laughs> they weren't like, what is wrong with you? The fuck? You ignored all the story, made your own, and made it disgusting. <laughs> Why can't you just appreciate what we made? I mean, if this guy had jet nipples, this would be this would be over immediately. Ha! Oh! Chaos, thank you. Uh. Uh. Huh. Ha! I feel it. I feel the cosmos. This is the one. Can you feel it, chat? It's gonna get my my little hand up and that looks not safe, but let's try anyway. Oh my god, you're right, you can make it. Well that's 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 making it, but is it really? Is it really? Oh goblin voice, you're right. You're right. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> well, now we have to do it every time. Why are we encouraging this? Yes, excellent question. <laughs> Look at that. Look at extra. Okay, last time I got up this high, I got a little overzealous and started to slip. So I gotta be a little bit. We gotta just inch this shit. Just gotta inch. And edge this. You gotta be very careful. Okay. And then. Ah! Yeah. 
Does anyone have cats at home? God, look at this. Look at this fucking... It's an amazing specimen. Ugh! Oh my god, is this like a... Is this like a... A, a half checkpoint? Have we done it? Have we reached the first checkpoint? Eh! Okay. Oh boy. Get your fine ass up there. Ah. Ah. You can still fall down. Oh, yeah. I, I'm aware that we can still fall all the way down. But it's nice to just be able to sit and I can, like, rest my shoulder for a second. <laughs> yeah, feels good to be in a different pool this time. Give me one second. I'm just checking something real fast. Okay. 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 Onward and upward. Again, if you're just joining, by the way, thank you for everybody that's thrown bits and subs at me. I really appreciate it. I know that my, my TTS and my alerts are, are silenced right now. I wanted to vibe with chat more, uh, but I will be reading everything. I mean, I'll try to acknowledge them if I see them in the moment, but otherwise I will be reading them all at the end of stream. We'll acknowledge each and every one of you. This is a checkpoint, sure, but I can definitely still fall off on this left side. Like, look. Like, if I, if I go over here and I fall off this side, even you, Tanuki Dan, even you, each and every one of you beautiful people. Oh my god, when he's in the corner like that, when he can't see it, it looks like he's dabbing. Huh. Yeah. Which I'm sure you can all relate to. Hold on, before we go to this side, can we go? Okay, we, I... I probably lost a golden opportunity to deal with this rock right here by jumping right in, but, uh, you know. I really like the vibe of today's stream without the interruptions. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard for me personally to manage, I've realized. Like, I'm not good with the flow of going back and forth, and I want to find a way to make it, like, enjoyable for everybody. So I'll probably still tweak this formula a little bit, for, but for right now I gotta, you know, I gotta, oh god, I almost let go for no reason. Get, get, get your fucking hand up there! Although I am going to read this from Fiddler Head Crab on the roof here. Let's see. Thank you for the, the resub. Have you heard about the new Arby's Beef and Cheddar Chicken Oreo Sandwich? Don't you fucking lie to me. That sounds awful and I would eat it. Uh, Quiet, that is a phenomenal dabbing emote you have there. You are the coolest 40-year-old I know. And I believe everybody <laughs> agrees. Wait, so is this, this thing off to the left, is this in the foreground? Is this a thing I can grab? No, that's just a foreground element. I cannot, I cannot hold on to that. Quiet, I can't read it now. I'm hold, I'm using my mouse hand for so many things. Oh, penis. Okay, so does this, okay, 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 okay. Can I grab onto this plant? Maybe plant? 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 Okay, 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 okay. Can't gra grab the water? I'll be the fucking judge of that. <laughs> Queet Dab Yes, I'm over 40. Oh my god, that's actually the name of it? That's fucking awesome. Everyone's over 40. Are we all dabbing? Is that what's happening? I can't get up this side. Please don't let me fall. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Save me, plantus. So I think I just didn't grab the plant. I think that's part of what it is. Like a cat playing with water. I honestly love it when I see cats. Oh. 
just reaching over. Okay, can I? Okay, so I can actually grab onto this. Good to know. I don't know how this is going to help me now that I see this, but maybe I can. Huh? You quitter piece of shit. That's all I saw was someone who did not want it badly enough. I would never stop auto hotking those bushes. Yo, that's a good idea. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Where's my clicky click script? Let me just check this one I'm looking at right now. Will this do the job? It should. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Let's. This should only work on my left hand. Let's see what it looks like. Oh my god. Can you see it? So what's what I did is I'm running a script that makes me click the left mouse button really, 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 really fast. And you can see his fingers like twitching. <laughs> That's obviously not going to help me play the game at all. But let's go. Let's go activate that on one of them plants. Hold on. I need to close the script. I can't see chat anymore. Okay, let me try again. We go. Okay. 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 We could do it on that bush, but we need to be up higher. I don't know why. It just feels better that way. It just feels like it makes more sense. Not it feels better. That sounds so weird. Nope. Nope. Do not fall, you fuck. Don't ruin this for us. Okay, this seems like a good place right here, okay? Well, here, here you go. Hello, plant. Slipping? Okay, where were we? <laughs> uh huh. Ha! Uh, maybe we need to go over here. Let's find out. Oh wow, that would not feel good on his legs. Good thing he doesn't need them. Cats and water, my orange meatball, Marty McFly, kept trying to sit on the edge of my bathtub and being nowhere near as graceful as he thinks he is. He kept falling in. I had to get him a small cat tree beside the tub, so he he now has a lifeguarding stand. No longer falls in, and my blood stays inside my body. I have to admit, when I had cats growing up, I fucking loved it when we had to, like, the few times we had to try and bathe them, and watching the pure abject terror in their eyes when they realize that they're going to have to go in the sink or something. It was just like, <laughs> yes. Like, not in a cruel way. Oh, God. Oh god, fall in the pool. Thank you. Just like, because it's like, I know, we we both need to do this. Like, let's just get this over with. I know you hate it. You're going to make, you're going to make it hard on me. And it's such a, such a pain in the ass. But yeah, when they've got that face, they're just like, no, no, no. Look, look, fucking with your cats in normal ways, I think is pretty normal. And by that, I mean like. I've I felt very seen now that I realize all other cat owners have done stuff like, hey, do you ever just put your do you ever just try to wrap your entire mouth around the cat the front of the cat's face? I've learned that other people do that one, and also it's like, hey, do you ever just uh, just not just like you see your cat and you just like shove your cat over? It's just like standing around, and you're just like, hey, hey, cat, and you just like, shove over. Right? Like, isn't it just fun to do? I also do the thing where, I mean, I don't have cats anymore, but when I did, was also like, oh, you're just sleeping and having a, having a nice time in the sun? What if I put a blanket over you? <laughs> what do you think of that? And then they just kind of, like, squirm their way out and look like, oh, what the fuck's wrong with you, buddy? What the fuck? I remember when my mom's cat was getting really old. I've been told, I haven't verified this, so I might be just talking out of my ass, but I've been told that, like, when cats get really old, they, at times, revert to, like, a childlike kitten state. And I feel like when I experienced this was when that cat was finally sick of my shit for some reason, out of nowhere, and just chased me down the hallway. And I was like, oh my god, what's happening? Why did she chase me? Oh my god, she was... She doesn't normally move at all. What the hell's happening? That was a great moment. <laughs> 
Eh. You, you just fucking... There you go. There you go. Oh my god, I thought this thing right here was like a salt shaker for a second. I don't know why. Oh, this feels like fucking Contra now. Look at this. Okay. Okay. Put 50% opacity stash on screen. I don't think I can. I'm, hold I'm using my mouse. Here. Stash is behind TTS is off. It's just really, really hard to see. But, but, but Stash is there. Stash isn't even my cat. That's a friend's cat. Did you know that cat, Stash, is in the game Espresso Tycoon? Espresso... It's called Espresso Tycoon? I'm, I'm losing track of what these games are called anymore. I think Espresso Tycoon. Ah! Oh my god. That hurt all the way going down. Okay. Okay. Not sure, like, this is, like, the, no, I mean the game, the game Contra, the game, the game Contra. There's a new Contra game, did you know that? It came out not long ago. I thought you were just messing with us when you said Stash was an Espresso Tycoon, then I played it and was like, yeah! The only reason I knew this, too, is because the Stash, this, this cat that you can barely see in the bottom right corner, is my friend Sarah's cat. She's another streamer. Miss Mad Hat is her name. And I have long loved this cat, but she told me, she's like, hey, did you know Stash is in this game? And I also was like, I just didn't believe what she said. And then she's like, no, really. Like, the developer, like, asked people for cat, for, like, animal pictures. That was my fault. And then, lo and behold, also, Stash is, like, not one of the first, like, picture unlocks like I had to unlock a ton of shit just to get to stash but then lo and behold the cat's in the game and now the cat's in my video with that I did for Espresso Tycoon the end I feel I wonder I don't want to look it up but this is one of those things where like I wonder how far into the game we are because I would believe we're 50% through I would believe we're 5% through oh Huh? Huh! Don't grab onto that. What's wrong with you? Grab onto the branch. Don't... Well, you did what I said. Same kind of thing. Can't wait for Josh to unlock the hook shot. God, that would be awesome. OMG, I honestly thought you green screen stash in, in on that video. I mean, which is a reasonable thing to wonder, right? But no, that the cat stash is actually in Espresso Tycoon. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna grab onto the rock. Nope, no I'm not, because he's already slipping. Like a fucking loser. Do they have a no legs mode? I mean, he can't use his legs, so it's kind of like a no legs mode. Eh. I just want you to want it as badly as I do. Why is that so hard? Why can't you be like that guy? I guess the real question is, do I even want it that badly? And I don't know if I do. <laughs> How about just some little stumps? Yeah, I wouldn't mind if he had some bloody stumps. I could probably live with that. Yeah, coffee, I think you're right. I might just not want it badly enough. I'm the problem here. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, when you're making videos, how often would you say you use creative mode and mods? If it's creative mode, I will often, like, stay in creative mode. I mean, it's pretty obvious, too. Like, you can see that I have, like, unlimited money, um... Or, like, yeah, like, nothing has, like, value to it. Like, in Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, I always do it on creative mode. Because, like, I don't know. I don't want to deal with the fucking economics of that game. I just want to make weird stuff. But I don't want to be like, oh, this is also a park where people are going to be willing to pay money for this roller coaster. Do I have to be worried about concessions? Like, I don't want to do any of that stuff. Huh! There we go. Oh, you know what? It's because I wasn't doing goblin noises. The creator of this game made a video on how he made it. His first version used both arms and legs, and it was cursed looking. That sounds fucking awesome. Is this Helldivers 2? Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, and like, the thing about it too is it's like, even on stuff like creative mode, it's like, sure, I didn't have to go through the struggle of like, creating a park that's super, super functional. Fuck. But like... It's not, it's not like I didn't still have to sit there and, or like, I guess, um, Hydraneer is probably a good example of this, where I like, 
I generally don't have to worry about money in that game. Like, because I figure out some kind of way to get a lot of money. But, like, if I can switch it to creative mode and not worry about money at all, I would much rather do that if I can help it. Because, like, at a point, like, the point of it to me isn't how many times do I have to go back and keep cashing in to get more money to buy a thing. It's more like, can I do this thing at all? And, like, whatever that thing is, like, building huge machines and getting it and making getting it to its, like, struggle point. Like, I still had to build all that shit and watch it, like, really horrifically tank the frame rate. Or, like, digging eight bajillion holes to, to plant stuff in. Like, I couldn't fake that. I had no way to do that besides... But yeah, there are there are ways to sort of like make this a little bit easier, like you pointed out. I've never used Wii Mod, but I know that exists. But like, at least for me personally, unless the whole point of the video... Like if I say like, I made all this money, blah, 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 and I just cheated it in, obviously that's not really in the spirit of those kinds of videos. Like I need to actually make that money amount within the scope of the game. Okay, be careful. I just realized the water is like pushing on his on his arm or like on his uh when I try to grip the water the flowing water in the background like pulls my arm. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> But yeah, the money is typically not the point of the video. Sometimes it is a part of the video, and if it is like a big part of the video, then I shouldn't cheat that, is what I mean. But like if the point of the video is doing something else and I'm and I'm being slowed down from for actual God damn it for actual days, then I would like shortcuts so I can get to the part I want to do and not lose my mind like doing stuff that isn't even gonna be in the video. Whee! We're playing X game today. I type three lines and look at this huge money. Oh like, comment, and subscribe. And then it's yeah, it could have been a YouTube short, but I made it like a full video. <laughs> But I would say even stuff like Wii Mod or like stuff where it's like you can um Okay, here's an example. I hope you all don't get mad at me. I did turn off stamina in fucking Enshrouded because it was driving me absolutely I mean at a point. I didn't have it off the whole time. But like at a point I was starting to lose my fucking mind because like I had to do all this I had to like dig dig wait. Dig dig wait. Dig wait. And it was like, God damn, I'm gonna be doing this fucking forever. So, like, that, I was like, I need to turn off. And I did the same thing for Valheim. Like, at a point, I was like, I need to turn off stamina or I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Mod let me keep it daytime and SnowRunner for recording. Yeah, and also there's stuff like that. Like, there's a, there's a bunch of, like, little tweaks. Like, eventually, I learned to do that in, in, um... In Satisfactory, like, I eventually went and found a mod that, like, kept at the same time of day. But, like, for most of my Satisfactory videos, I didn't use that, and I was losing my fucking mind because, like, every time I was like, okay, the sun is setting, the, the lighting looks a little too different, I need to wait for it to become daytime again. And I would just stand there and wait for daytime to finish, and I was just gonna fucking... It was like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> like, I'm just standing here waiting, and it's making me antsy. I could be making more video, but instead I'm losing my brain. Waiting 20 minutes. Over and over. Ha! No. 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 And I feel like, I, yeah, I feel like nighttime is like a streamer and a YouTuber's like bane of their existence. Ha! Because they just, if it gets too dark, like you don't want that to be a, a crappy like viewer experience. And it's not like dark is always a crappy viewer experience, but it can be. Okay. Ha! How long did the Sour Patch story take to write? Not very long. That was just like I just typed stream of conscious and there it was. Ha! What video took you the longest to edit? Uh, Probably that satisfactory one with the, with the tube thing. The tube thing. Huh. You could have gone to bed in the game? I don't think that was unsatisfactory. I'm gonna feel real fucking stupid if it was, because I definitely didn't use it! But, like, the Hyper Cannon one had just had a bunch of, like, random special edits, like... 
getting into the hyper tube and using it. I have a video where like you get into a series of these tubes and it launches you really far. But like when you get into it, it has a lot of like flashing going on because it's like per frame. It's showing you just like a lot of jagged weird shit as you're going through it. And so I went through like and individually removed a lot of the frames that I thought were uh we're going to be like we're going to create like sort of a like a feeling of of not a feeling of unease while you're watching. Like I don't expect that there would be many people that are like, "Oh, I see a bunch of like flashing frames. I'm going to turn this off." But I think your brain kind of absorbs that and you feel slightly less uncom like less comfortable. Heh. And like I want to prevent I mean, yes, there's also seizures and stuff like that, but I'm mostly thinking about eh. um just like what across like this and so many other things i'm asking myself like ah, what are the things i can do to make this like really easy to watch and not like a pain or a lot of work to watch so like i try to make editing choices that like don't make it so you have to like figure out what i want you to look at like you should be able to just have your eyes just kind of be in a spot and i can hopefully bring the shit to you rather than you having to look around Maybe I need to be a little bit more. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> first art, then seizures, but mostly. Yeah. <laughs> first is for the art. Ha! There's eight total areas of this game. Okay, okay. And we're in number two. Okay, okay. Back up we go. Higher bush is unintuitively closer. I believe it. I believe it. I thought the theme park video, the one with Grace, would have... Then it got blocked, but the longest edit, because you... Oh, actually, you know what? Planet Zoo might have also been up there, too. Uh, the one with the moon was probably... Because I had to do a lot of editing trickery that you can't technically do in the game. Like, there's, like, a rocket launch that what I really... What I did, like, there's, a, there's like, an angle where the rock... It's kind of like Apollo 13, where there's this angle... Uh, up from the sky looking down up from the sky looking down and the camera's up here as the rocket is flying up the camera's up here looking down and to create that sense of motion i basically built that rocket in the air in in planet zoo and below it i filled the rest with a green texture so basically a green screen and then i just moved the camera past it and so i took that and then I also recorded sort of some motion of just the ground, and then I, you know, took it into editing and uh, just green screened out the background and, and added, you know, I did little things like that. Ha! Which is always a lot of fun to do, but also requires a lot more work. I did a lot of work too on the fucking, I did a bunch of holodeck stuff on. Ah! Like, there's an episode of Planet Zoo where I did a bunch of holodeck stuff, and the holodeck stuff required a lot of editing trickery. Because I had to, like, leave the camera in one place and, like, film one one thing happening and then go around without moving the camera and delete a bunch of things. So, like, so it, made, it gave the effect of that room, like, fading out of existence but leaving the rest. Ha! Fuck. <laughs> the intermittent struggle noises interrupting the story is killing me. <laughs> what do you mean? Hi, Josh. I just want to say that you made me laugh in a way that I haven't in a very long time, especially with shadows of D with the Shadows of Doubt video. That's awesome to hear. Thank you, the nose picker. Yeah, Shadows of Doubt was a fun one. I love that game. Shadows of Doubt is is unabashedly a fantastic game. I mean, it also can, at times can feel like a job, so I get if someone doesn't want to play it because you actually have to, like, like, you have to really do some actual investigating shit. Oh, God. This might be... No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Join stream. Immediate screaming. Josh, what about the cooking sim video where you edited this stupid British lady? You mean Lollip? Amazing Lollip who did the voice for that? Uh, yes. Actually, that one was... Was a bit of a... Bit of a pain as well, but... Anything with VR is a pain. VR is a pain to do anything with when it comes to, like, recording. Chat is the doubt was great. Can't, can't wait for more murder scenarios. They're adding a lot to that game, which is really exciting. So I'm hoping it's stuff that, uh, that can, that can lead to another video. We shall see. Ha! 
You mean to tell me this is closer? I don't know if I believe you, but I do love what I'm seeing here. Look at, look at, God, what a, what a Chad. VR su- I don't think VR sucks. I just think it's hard for, like, to create. Unless, like, that's what you, like, it's, it's little things like, you know, all of us jerk off streamers sit at our fucking desks with our, with our, the same microphone that everybody has. And we're just like, ah, oh, thanks for subscribing, blah, 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 blah. But, like, the moment we have to get up from our desks, it's like, all of a sudden, we have, like, a sound problem. Suddenly, you can't hear us very well. And then it becomes this huge conundrum with, like, what do you do? How do you make the sound not sound like garbage? Get high on the upper purple bush. So, yeah, you use a lavalier mic, right? Like, that's the idea, is you get one of those little mics that, like, clips to your thing, your, your, like, your chest in some way. But it's, like, one of the other things that's difficult about VR is, like... I mean, that's, that's generally the way, right? But you also end up looking around, you end up looking down more, you end up looking up more, you do all this stuff, and it's like the mic picks it up at different... at, uh... in different ways at different times. And without that, like, clean audio, it's really hard to get people to stay on your video, because people just... Like, audio, in my opinion, is probably the most important thing when it, when it comes to... Eh, when it comes to people... Ha! Oh, this bush, I see what you mean now. I see! Audio is the most important thing. Uh, voice over, yeah, your voice, I mean, specifically. Like, if you're, if you're doing commentary, like, you want your audio to be clear, the clearest, best thing first, and then you want to focus on making sure your video doesn't suck. But, like, if you're, if your voice sounds like shit, it's going to be really hard to sell people on the other stuff. Ha! Right? Don't slip, please don't slip. Okay, okay. So, do you do your voiceover live in VR? I do. Ah! Uh, to varying levels of success. Like, if you go back and watch the first VR video I did, where I was like, they sent me an, an, a, an Oculus Rift to talk about it. I used a different lavalier, like, I used a different microphone um, than I normally do, and you can totally tell. Like, it's acceptable, but it's not great. Ah! And in the second one, I did get a little bit better, but I definitely had to go back. I can't remember if I talked about this, but, like, the lines got all fucked up. Like, my my lavalier got, like, too close at some point, and I couldn't monitor it while I was playing, so I couldn't tell. So I went back and listened to all the audio and was like, fuck, so much of this. Possibly, like, yeah, just most of it had to be re-recorded. Luckily, Luckily, I sound the same all the time, so it's it sounds exactly the same. Hi, Josh. I hope you have had a good cry because of this game already. I love to cry. I love to cry. What was the worst video you ever made? I don't know if there's a video I've ever made where I was like, this video fucking sucks. Um, because I try really hard to not release videos I'm not happy with, but... I'm sure there's something out there where I wish I could have done more, but I think that's the nature of creating anything. Especially if you, like, want to get it out by a certain amount of time. You just end up making sacrifices that you otherwise would not have wanted to make. But you still live with the product you get. I think being able to hear when you're talking away from the mic slash moving around the room, it reminds me you're a real person existing in a space instead of a disembodied voice. That does help, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it can be used to great effect on... That was him. He just didn't want it. He just didn't want it. Your bit in flashing lights where you want to defib the dead woman has me had me snort hot coffee more times than I want to admit. This is not how you do a defib. <laughs> this is like, yeah, this is not how you do a defib. This is like a Krav Maga maneuver. Uh, yeah, flashing lights. You know what I love about flashing lights as well? That game is still being updated to this day. Like, I just saw a tweet from them. Where they're, like, releasing, like, a $3 DLC or a $4 DLC for, like, a new, like, SWAT van. And I'm like, I'm so happy you're still making stuff. I'm so happy that there's a community that's into this, I assume. That game was something else. So, there weren't any videos that I was, like, that I, that I didn't like. But I think there was, before I started switching the kinds of videos I made, and I was making a video a day... I did start to feel like I wasn't able to do, like, the better work that I wanted to be doing. Like, oh, you little hooker. I can't recover from this. I have to just go over here. Blah. 
Josh, remember Cheesecake Dev? Boy, howdy do I. Although I think they're starting to get vaguely more legitimate. It's hard to tell, but yeah, I, I was not happy with them for, you know, basically using assets of stuff that they can't they can't possibly have owned or made. <laughs> but yeah, like back when I was making like a, a video a day, Mr. Maze will always be I loved Mr. Maze to be honest. But that was also like I made a I made I think Mr. Maze was towards the at the end when I stopped doing a video a day. Because, like, I was losing my fucking mind. I was trying to find a game every day, which was already hard enough. And then editing it all myself. Like, record finding a time to do my day job and also record and also edit. Uh, it was just a lot. And also, I just didn't feel like I was ever going to be able to get ahead of that. Like, I didn't ever feel like I was going to be able to, like, aspire to anything greater than what I was achieving in that very moment. And I just felt like I wanted to be doing something else. Ah! That ah, was almost a head injury. Oh, we could hear the insanity in Mr. Mace. Yeah, I was just fucking over it. I just wanted to sleep. I just wanted anything. I just wanted to not be playing fucking video games. Please make a new Sims 4 episode. That's in the works. Like, I I, I started to make a Sims 4 episode, and then I had to switch to... Oh, I think I switched to Pal World, because that game came out. Uh, but I'm still thinking about that Sims episode that I want to make, because Sims is always so fun to make stuff for, because you can get so cinematic and do so many weird things. Uh, the Sims 4 ones are probably the, some of the ones I'm the most proud of. Those ones are super fun. I like those a lot. But that's, that's also, like, a huge testament to, like, the personality. I know it's fun to hate on EA, but also, like, the amount of personality they put into those, into, like, your characters you play as or interact with. Like, I don't think I really realized how much personality they have until I, until I started doing all these, like, different, zoo, like, close-up angles to try to get their reactions to stuff. And you realize, like, man, they have so much personality. What's your favorite kind of games you've played or want to play? Will you make any more Raft videos, by the way? Those are my favorites. Raft is probably not, because I feel like we kind of finished that game out. Uh, how do you figure out all these things to break? Uh, I just go in and start trying shit. <laughs> sometimes I go in with an idea of what I would like to have happen, and sometimes... It works. Sometimes there's this serendipitous moment where I'm like, there's no way this will work, right? And then it does, and then I have my whole trajectory set for the video. And then there's other times where I've played enough of a game to know, oh, it should do this. And then I go into the game, and ah! Uh, and it doesn't want to play ball at all with me. Or the game just has, like, weird glitches I'm, I am not expecting, and it just completely derails anything I wanted to do. A good example is, like, the first Planet Zoo video I did... I don't know if Planet Zoo still has this problem, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised. But like, I did the whole, I did my first Planet Zoo video, and towards the end, there's a there's a part where like a bunch of people get on like a like a train thing, and like I just fucking couldn't get people to to board the train. Couldn't figure out why. I looked online, but also the game had just come out, so there wasn't a lot of people talking about it. But it looked like other people were having problems too, and it was just like. I couldn't fucking figure out how to get the fucking, get people to just get in the train and I can't finish the fucking video if people won't get in the train. And this went on for hours. I was like, I'm so fucking tired. I just want to be done with this video. Why is it that I can't, why won't people get on the train? Just get on the, just get on the train. And then for no reason I can tell, they just started getting on the train. Like after me lo uh, nearly pulling my hair out and just being like, I can't understand this. What happened? Why? Are you sick of your epic music? No, should I be? It's also really hard to find new music that I think fits. So I play the same tracks and quietly hope that nobody cares. <laughs> What's your favorite Animorph? I like the one... Mine is the halfway morph for the girl turning into a rat. Okay, so that's a good one. I don't know if mine can compete with that, but I will tell you that mine is the meme picture of... A dog turning into peanut butter. That's my favorite animal. <laughs> okay, I think if I just grab onto this and then... <laughs> and then hold space bar to do my kegels. Just reach a little higher. Want it a little bit more. Okay, 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 okay. No, just, just, just grab on. Stop being a hero. 
I found you from the cooking sim videos. Uh, Kyle, by the way, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the resub. Sorry that I don't, don't have the Pringles emote on here. Uh, do you know the artist for the anim... Is this what I started reading? Did you know the artist for the Animorphs cover cell signed prints on their Etsy? Well, I don't think the peanut butter one... Oh, yeah, TT TTS is off. Sorry about that, Kyle. Is this how Kegels work? Yeah, you just hold spacebar, and you can now hold up your whole body with just... Look at that. With just... His left hand kind of looks like a foot right there. I'm in... Oh! Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha! I missed. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ha! Okay. 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 Ha! Oh my god. This is the farthest from the Shire I have ever been. Save me, Bush. Let's give this Bush a nice tap, shall we? Log, log. <laughs> Again, Josh, I scoured the internet to find the music when you put up your your screen. Went, Shit, it's gone, and now I can't now I can't see it. If you're asking where the da 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 that music came from, it's from a site called Premium Beat. And I had to buy the track. Oh, that feels good. That's not gonna break, right? It just is giving the illusion that it's gonna break, but it's not really gonna break, right? 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 All right, time for another pat. Can I wait? Can I pat this thing? Well, kind of, but that just looks weird. Times are tough, ancient muff. Yisuke, what the fuck? Just wearing it down. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Where were we? Okay. Okay, had a nice little break. Let's see, what do we do? Do we go to the left? Is that where we're headed? Well, this feels like a quick way back to the bottom. Doesn't it? Doesn't this feel like this is going to lead us? I, I've... Okay. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my... Krav Maga. <laughs> Yeah, that bush really saved our lives, didn't it? Okay, hold on. No, let go of that fucking rock, you- No! 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 Hold on to that rock. Don't be that way. Okay. Alright, use your zesty hand to get over there, you fuck. Oh my god, alright, hold on, hold on. I have- I have to- my mouse is in a weird fucked up spot. I have to- hold on, I gotta readjust! Gotta readjust! Okay. Huh? Oh. 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 I feel like the stakes are too high to lose here. I feel like I'll fall down to the bottom and I... Oh my god! Fuck you, water! Oh, everything is clenching. Pretty game also. Why are you torching yourself? The corner... The crying corner is always available. You don't... Well, I just wanted an excuse to talk about how much I love to cry. That was pretty much it. Well, now I have to go to the edge. Is it going to break off? Do I have to climb the sign? Oh my god, what am I doing? Ha! Yes! Yes! Uh, eh. Oh? Huh? Oh, oh, come on. Okay, okay. No, 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 God. My stomach hurts. Everything hurts. 
<laughs> Just do a permanent kegel, fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on. <sighs> all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. This game is made for just- I think everybody should play this game. This game is fun, and I love it, and I don't feel good, and that's part of the relaxing gaming experience. Are you a true gamer if you don't feel like garbage every second you're playing? I'm trying to- that's not- I want to get on the very edge, but not that close to the very edge. I just watched the six minute speed run and oh my god, I'm sure- does it just look like- like a rabid spider just like running up? Give me- Oh yeah, give me- yeah, now let me climb on your head, yeah, 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 uh -huh. No, 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 um, sp pardon me, ma'am. Okay. I expected more moaning, don't worry, we- we conjure it when we need it most. I actually can't tell what I can grab here, this is- this is, oh, ho, ho, this is visually confusing for me, but I guess we can always rely on the bush. I want to drink too much coffee until my stomach hurts and play this un until I discover, yes, yes, and then discover ulcers. And you gotta catch them all. What the fuck is this? Are you serious? So be it. Nope. I gotta grab them with both hands. I gotta really want this. Ha! 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 Woo! God. Oh. Oh. Stretch out those arms. Have you played or seen my summer car? I have. I have. That's been on the back burner for a game I feel like I really should play. Oh, do I have to go up, up these? Do I have to grab onto this wall? Oh, good. Okay. And I can't grab onto the smooth pillar, just the broken parts. Okay, I get it. I get it. And I bet if we... Okay, no, we're just trying stuff now. We're just trying stuff. God, I miss Mon Bazoo. Yo, I love Mon Bazoo. There's a game I could, again, I could always be wrong, but I feel like Mon Bazoo has a lot of heart. I really like that game. Girl, grab, all I grab onto are smooth pillars. Girl! <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. How am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to just like, ha! Huh! I feel like we're supposed to learn a new technique here. Prage. Let's hope you don't take six hours on this part like my last streamer. <sighs> well, that's promising to hear. You must mean specifically this spot. Hey, Josh, can you be serious for five minutes? You know, I want, once upon a time, I actually had someone on a film set ask me if I could do that. By the way, my job was semi-serious. I took it pretty seriously. But they were like, could you stop making jokes for like five minutes? Oh no, they asked if I could do it for a whole day. That's what it was. And so I did, and they were like, don't do that again. It was, it was, it actually was really sad to watch how sad you looked. <laughs> <laughs> you need to jump on one, with one hand, but also, you need to jump on one hand, but also pull up at the same, pff, easy, 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 easy. Hold on, let's just showboat a little bit first. Like, can I... If, can I get... Can I get him to get, like, uh, up on the... Like, get upside down first, and then do, like, a... Like, some kind of Olympic shit? Yeah, like that, like that, and now... Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Did you all see what I saw? I saw the goods. I saw only the things that I wanted to see. I can't. Do that again! How did you even do that? I don't know, but let's try again. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. Ha! Can you imagine if at some point it's just... I hope he has like a massive bush. Uh, what I want to see is he just gets revealed and everyone in chat goes, Oh my god, there's so much hair. I was hoping I could do something like then he lo wait no hold on I'm not using I'm not using a thrust command effectively so hold on 
<laughs> like, if I do this... Nope. Dumb fuck. Turn entirely upside down and reveal your gorgeous ass. Hold on, I gotta get the... Heh. Nope. Now you're just fucking the pillar and you're embarrassing us all. Yeah, don't forget, Outcast is out now. On PC. And the Playstations and the Xboxes. You can play it on any platform you want. There's a demo. You can play that for free! I tried to launch and you didn't do it. Here's what Thrust normally does. This is thrusting. I push the button and he tenses up all his arms and impregnates the column. But what I was hoping is if we turn him upside down. Come on, buddy. So much shit on my desk. It's making it hard to do this. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't you want this as bad as I do? Don't you want to show your gorgeous fucking ass with your tan lines and shit? Huh? Don't you want to show people your fucking tan lines? Huh? Don't you want this? Don't you want this? I hope my wife can't hear this. Just fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck this. We're just gonna fly around like some kind of ghost. Flying around. Where's my music? Come back! Oh, actually, hold on. Let me change the music. Actually, what time is it? 7.04! Fuck! We'll just live with this music. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We'll do it live. There's no words on here! See, what I was hoping... Wait, 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 wait. Can I just play the game with one hand and have the other hand just constantly tapping like this, do you think? Oh, now we're talking. Now, this is, this is how I want to play. One hand challenge. Where, so just so you know, the way I'm tapping this this fast is I have like an auto clicker that's just clicking over and over again. But now I can't use that hand because this hand is constantly jerking. <laughs> it's constantly trying to find its target for a quick rapid HJ. But it means I only have access to the one hand now. You can still see it moving, by the way. It's very subtle. But it is indeed. Wait, is this making me move the other direction? Oh, it isn't. No, okay. Hyper Salami! Hyper Salami! Hyper yeah, exactly. I should add that one, shouldn't I? <laughs> this is how I want to play the game. I just... I want to know if I can just climb up this column. I guess I need both hands to try. Although this feels... Wouldn't that be great if there's a way to just, just slap this shit so hard that it just breaks away parts of the column? Wouldn't that be nice? You could just carve it into whatever you want? Alright, let's try both hands. Of all the weird things in this game, the swimming is still the most unnerving. What do you mean? This? Do you think it's the wrists? I feel like the wrists are what make it really uncomfortable. Can you auto-click both hands? Yes, but then I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. I want to head over to the gym and swim my ass off like that. I mean, you would probably isolate some very specific muscles. Okay, where were we? The sound is cursed? What do you mean, this? <laughs> Start climbing! <laughs> what are you doing? Streamer! <laughs> Start climbing! Can you do that with both hands? I could. I just need to edit my script, and I'm also kind of la lazy about it. Eh. Use auto clicker on the pull up. So I thought about that. I also I don't want to cheat the game, but I do want to know if I can like. Eh. Hold on, hold on. 
I don't think I'm making any progress there. So like, what do, what do we think? If we, uh, if we just like, if we, I'm trying to think of how to get the right kind of momentum over there. I feel like I can understand how this would have taken six hours. No progress, but you're sending a strong message. That's exactly how I feel. I feel like it's not all for nothing, but I feel like I'm definitely making no progress. Both hands, maybe? Capital idea, sport. Let's try it. Huh. Oh, hold on. I don't know if that was actually good, but that... That was something. That was something special is what I mean. That's how... I, that's all I want to do is, like, not just land it, but I need to land it with some finesse. Grab my toes. There are some things that this man cannot do. <laughs> your, your vocal sound effects are perfect. Yes, it's really drawing you into the, the game universe, isn't it? Like, yeah, like if I just go... Oh, no, hold on. See, he gets a little... He's a little tangled up. He's a little tangled up. That, that would not shatter your arms at all. You need not worry. <sighs> yeah, so I want to do a little bit of that, but also find a way to grab on after. I think that's what the pros do, right? If I think they would if they could. I feel like I'm learning. I feel like I'm learning so good. I don't know what I did differently that time. I don't know what I did differently, but now I'm scared. I have to do it again? Oh, fuck. Wait, no, I can just, okay. Okay. Okay, good. It's nice and loud. I scream louder. Is that what I did? Okay, well, this looks promising, especially because I don't know where I'm supposed to be or what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. Is this just the beginning again? This feels like it's just the beginning again. Oh, penis. I guess I could have grabbed onto the other column, but my brain does not work quite that fast. You lied to me. You lied and said, keep, keep going, keep going on the gear and grab the ceiling. I'll grab your ceiling. What do you think of that, Kyle? <laughs> ha! Okay. Okay. I feel good about this now. I honestly didn't think we would pass this at all. All right. Well, let's, let's just take a quick gander. Okay. There's nothing. It doesn't wait, wait, wait. All right. Grab onto this. And I don't think that's gonna work. I think we gotta go back over here. <laughs> it's more about the pitch than volume. I love, thank you, thank you. I, that's a perfect first time chat. I like, these are some phenomenal first time chats. I actually really like them a lot. Do I need to, oh, these, I didn't think you could grab onto, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck my arms. Oh, get over there. The brain does not work this way, fuck. Okay. Got a free hand. Grab onto that. Yep. Good. Good. Great. Great. Good. 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 Excellent. Oh my God. Oh my God. My head. My head. I'm seeing through time and space. This is too much. Oh, okay. Grab on. No. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'll fuck your family. I'll fuck your dad. Let me have this. Shit. I didn't realize there were people here. Hi. No. I don't want to go back to it. Don't send me back. Don't send me. I just no stop grabbing onto that you, you fuck no no god I mean in reality his hand oh what what the fuck was that what the hell was that what the hell was that sorry you see gay I'm sorry I'll calm down <laughs> where am I are we in the same pool everything feels so different now <laughs> just... hey gamer yo what up Okay, where were we? Ha! Don't worry. Don't you worry. <laughs> I just, just get in there and ha! One of these times it'll work. My, my arm. Everything hurts. Huh? Huh? Ha! Yes, that was this with one hand too. Do you see that? Ha ha! 
Okay. 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 Uh, no. Uh. Now use this hand. To, yes, look at that triumph and everything. He's... Oh, fuck. I feel like I'm learning. I can see the... Shit. I was going to say I could see the Matrix, but that was a lie. But I feel... Okay. Okay. This is a good position to be in, I feel. No, let me have that. No, you, you piece of shit. What? You just not want it bad enough, huh? Do you not... Okay. Okay. Oh, please get... Please get ground up into, into, into small pieces of sensual meat. What the fuck? What is all this? Grab onto the... Oh, I have to grab... Oh, I see. I have to... No, 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 no. Okay, hold on, I gotta search my arm a little bit. You would not believe the wrist and arm and finger workout this is. Especially when all that shit starts moving. It's like, I can't, I don't know what's happening. I'm just pushing things and hoping for the best. I'm hoping, I'm hoping... A, a, an inset... I almost said an ancestral being, that's not what I was meant. Ancestral, ancestral being would come down like, like Patrick Swayze and Ghost and help guide my hand. Ugh. Okay. Let's try this again. Or an ancestral being. Whatever, fuck it. As long as they help, that's all I care about. I'm not here to judge. I just want help. There we go. There we go. Things are getting better all the time. You love that- you love that movie, Bees? I think about- I think about that one scene from Ghost, like, all the time. I really, truly don't remember the rest of the movie. I just only remember the song and that I wish someone would do pottery with me. I want to be someone's Demi Moore. Is that for- I want to be some ghost's Demi Moore. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. Oh man, did you see that shit? I'm like Casper Van Diem in that one version of fucking Tarzan that no one watched. No, don't. Actually, yes. Yes, this is good. This is great. This is excellent. No. Pottery. Pottery! Pottery! Look, everyone everyone needs like a cheer that really gets them pumped up. And I think if you just yell pottery, you'll get you'll get everything that you want. Fuck that shit. No, come on. Pottery! Gimme. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's mine now. No, no. Okay, now I'm gonna reach up and grab this. With my left hand and then, yes uh, how sweaty do you think this guy is I mean we saw his ass and it was soft beautiful and not oh, hold on I just want to take this in for a second okay so we have is this too loud by the way I can't adjust any volume right now my husband volunteered to do pottery with you excellent there we go I'll start and then you just come behind me and just be, you know, sing the whole song and do, no, it's fine. Okay, I'll assume it's fine. What? So I need to grab this first one and then grab the next one really fast because it's going so fast. So let's, uh, set. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, you two, you two. No, fuck you and your little grabby hands, huh? Grab harder. Uh, right now, I have my arms crossed. And I have disappointed principal face. So I'm gonna call that. This playthrough reminds me of what the hell did that say, Yusuke? Of Brokeback Mountain, and I just hope the prize you get at the top of the mountain is just Jake Gyllenhaal with a full bussy full <laughs> with a bussy full of beans. I feel like bussy full of beans <laughs> could could legitimately be the name of a restaurant. I feel like there's a... I feel like people... I, is it because I didn't use goblin? Hashtag ad, yeah. Is this... Is, should I... Should I be doing more goblin voice? Is that what I'm missing out on? Oh. 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 Pottery! Oh. Oh. That was a bad one. That was a shit move. And I suck. Remember, it's the pitch, not the volume. You're right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ha! You know, you're right. You're right. <laughs> My wife wants to go to Cheesecake Factory tonight. Should we go or stay and watch the stream? 
Hmm, it depends what you want. I've had Cheesecake Factory delivered by like DoorDash and I felt like it was adding insult to injury. Like it felt like I paid way too much and it was just very underwhelming. I do like some things over there. I am a little worried about it being a Saturday night, but I feel like Cheesecake Factory is always busy anyway. So maybe that factor doesn't actually matter, you know? So I think, I mean, honestly, you know, what the wife wants is what the wife wants. As well as, as well as compromise to what would make you both the happiest. And if that's watching this fucking freakish Spider-Man just do this, this creepy stuff. Well, then who am I to stop you? Although you're, depending on what time zone you're in, if you're on, if you're on the West Coast or the East Coast, this might be ideal time to go. Because it's either really early or a little on the, on the vaguely later side. The worst one, Central. Hmm, that's a harder call, right? Because that's like prime dinner time. Yeah, you could just you could just watch it. You could together watch it, not on headphones, on your phone while you dine. I mean, you might not even be able to hear it. My memory of Cheesecake Factory is it's like eight bajillion decibels. That was a sick move, even if you didn't land it. Like it's so loud in the Cheesecake Factory. Well. Whoa, what the fuck did I do there? That looked intentional. That looked like I knew what I was doing and had any, even a small level of confidence. I don't know how to feel about that one. Gonna grab onto that. Uh-huh. You're doing great, soldier. Oh my god. Oh my god, I feel it. I feel the cosmos again. No time to waste. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> We don't have Cheesecake Factory here. I feel like I have to try it at least once when I visit America again. What's everyone's favorite cheesecake to get? Here's the funny thing about the Cheesecake Factory. Yes, you can get cheesecake there. But I would say one of the more bizarre things about the Cheesecake Factory is there... I mean, okay, I haven't been there in a couple of years now. But my memory is there are so many fucking things on the menu. They give you the menu with a spiral... It's spiral bound. And like, the thing... I've gotten most, I think I've only been to Cheesecake Factory like less than five times. And I want to say four of those times I got orange chicken. That was the thing I got from Cheesecake Factory. What what sense does that make? Hey. Yes. 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 Yeah, they're, it's like, yeah, it's like the Bible. That's how big their menu is. Grab it, you... Yeah. I almost said grab it, you cuck. I guess that's probably going to enter the equation now. What the fuck? Why... Oh, now you... Get, get your fine ass up there. There you, there you go. 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 Why don't you want to hold on to things? Why do you want to slip and fall like that and just fall like a little bitch? What's wrong with you? That makes no sense, Orange Chicken. I would agree with you. Why is that at or at Orange Cake Factory? What did I say? Did I say something bad? Did I go into a fugue state? You were so close. Oh, I know. Ha! Okay. Okay. God, I just love when we get to see the buns. Lollop, do you want to see a man's ass? Boom! Check that out. Perfect. Look at that showing just for you. Uh-huh. God, that looked fucking intentional. Wow. That was amazing. <laughs> that was not easy to land. I'm so pleased. That I made that look so easy that one time. It's kind of like, do you ever watch speedrunners? Like, I watch GDQ whenever it's on. And they pull off some crazy-ass maneuver the first time. But, like, I feel like most speedrunners are pretty measured. So they'll pull off some crazy thing and they'll be like, Whoa, that's actually really, really, really hard. That's like, there, that, there's like 17 million subpixels, and you have to nail just the right subpixel. It, it, there's a, there's a point oh one millisecond chance of getting that. But I got it. That was pretty cool. I feel like it's like that, and you're just like, you can't really appreciate how hard it was because they made it look so easy. No, no, no. Ah, oh, pottery. Fuck you. Fuck 
you and you're reaching around and being a little 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 hooker. <laughs> anyway, welcome back, Lala. Hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed that man's sensual buns. Josh, did you see the guy who screams like Homer Simpson playing on GDQ? I did not, but that sounds fantastic. Ha! Well, still a good. How's what? This game? This game is fucking awesome. I love this game. But I like games like this. You know, it's a fun vibe. I can... I can... I can talk to chat! I can scream. I can sound like a goddamn... a goblin running around. I've I've lowered the lo the the overall lifespan of my mouse has been reduced by half from how hard I'm pushing the buttons, no question. But I feel like we are learning and growing as people. Grab onto it, you fuck. What is you you want to do? What is it? you want to die? You want a Domino's pizza? Is that what you want? Huh? Huh? Is that what you want? Tune in. Let's tune into Let's Game It Up. I've never caught one of their streams. I'm sure it's going to be a... Uh... I sense a set of sore shoulders. Uh, wrong, Lollip. One sore shoulder. No question. <sighs> Fuck. Domino's is mid, though. Worked there for five years. I mean, sometimes you want... You want the... Uh... Sometimes you want mid pizza, right? I saw a YouTube short of some guy, dead fucking serious, was like, I'm going to review Chuck E. Cheese. All right, I'm in Chuck E. Cheese now. I can see them making the pizza. They're making it fresh, but I see that they're cutting it with the same with the same cutter that they use on pepperonis, and that doesn't bother me. But if you eat kosher, you if you can't have pork, you should be considering that that they should be using the different things. Then he bites into the pizza. He's like, "It's all right. It's not anything I write home about, though." <laughs> it's just, I was like, "I appreciate like fucking Chuck E. Cheese is happening behind him." And dead fucking serious. <laughs> Something about it just really spoke to me, like how fucking serious they were. All these kids around, and there's just some man reviewing Chuck E. Cheese pizza with all the seriousness in the world. Which could have been could have been not real. You, you never know. Could be like that one guy. The uh the report of the week, that guy, who does the, who does all of the, all of his fast food reviews, like he's talking on a ham radio in the 1930s. I don't know when ham radios were actually made, it might have been way later than that. You know what I mean, just an old timey reporter sound. Oh no, oh god, okay, 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 okay. No. Yes. Yes. You want it. You want it and you can have it. 1908? That's when ham radios were fucking... Wow. John Oliver has a great segment about the history of Chuck E. Cheese. You know what I love about John Oliver? Like, just that entire... Everything he's been doing for the last several... Forever. Is, like, we're slowly getting, like, comedy... We're getting, like, comedy Wikipedia. That's pretty much what we're getting. Like, we're actually learning shit and we're laughing about it. I just really appreciate that. It's, like... You mean I can learn about about this about the about tax fraud and like the medical no no grab on the yeah grab on okay hold on hold on hold on hold on I gotta use all my brain cell fuck but yes pottery you're right alright hold on let's go with all goblin now Can someone ex explain pottery? I just yelled pottery for no reason at some point. I think that's really all that happened. Skip the skip the fast one, but why would I want to do that? That's where the fun is. You might be right. You might be right. You oh 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 back to the hospital for grievous injuries once again. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> wow. 
every time he does a full flip, it's kind of like, did you ever play any like motocross or like, like stunt motorcycle games and you actually nail something that you will never nail again? That's what I feel like when that happens. I just feel like I'm in that moment better at the game before my skill level goes back down. Ha! I wish the game left blood splatters whenever you hit yourself. My God, can you imagine? Huh? Ha! Oh, that wasn't even a good one. <laughs> uh, the other game you're thinking of, Lollop, is GURP. GURP. A personal favorite of mine, old GURP. Oh, or also getting over it. I guess this one's more like getting over it in GURP. Does the screaming help? Absolutely. It's interesting to read the description that the guy put of this game, because he talked about how he was expecting that after after getting over it came out, that there would be like a whole bunch of these like these like games like this. And he was disappointed to see that that didn't happen to the, to what he, I think, thought was like the uh, the full potential or like the full extent of like these kinds of games that could come out. Oh, that was a good one. And that was his reason, apparently, for making this game. As he says on the Steam page, anyway. And I'm willing to believe that at face value. Without looking it up or learning anything besides what I've already said. And if anyone tells me new information, I'll just go ahead and double down. And insist to learn nothing. Oh yeah, fingertips only. Just like the pros do when they're doing pottery! Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it! Okay, let's take a brief breather here. I think he talked about this game on his YouTube as well. I actually saw that, that he, yeah, that he did a YouTube where he's like, I made this game. And I remember being like, I recognize that game. This is a fucking, this is a that. So I should definitely go watch that, is what I'm saying. I should, you should, we all should. A difficult game about pottery. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's take a breather with our destroyed fingertips. Doubling down and learning nothing is the path to righteousness in heaven. Absolutely. And if someone tells you otherwise, you double down again. Did you ever play Pogo Stu Stuck in the End? I don't know if that's a different game or if you mean did I play Pogo all the way to the end. I did not. I stopped after whenever I recorded it. Use your nipples to cling on to things. If only there was that mod. Oh, is he slipping? Hold on. Don't you slip, buddy. Yeah! Okay, so let's, uh, and then, huh, and then, huh, and then, huh. Wait, am I supposed to swing all the way to the right over here? wonder if I could do that. Hold on, let's, let's give it a shot here. That's really hard to navigate that. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me. No, don't. Well, now I really want to. Oh! Hey, Josh, I missed you. Hey, I missed you, too. Missed you, too. Okay. 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 Yeehaw! Oh, fuck me. Uh, okay. Ready? 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 Ha! The, the yelling helps every time, no question. You want uppies now? I can't get fucking uppies now. What? Look, look, we're giving this guy uppies. You hold on to your uppies. I tried to grab on whatever was up there. I feel, is that like a shortcut, like in like a Mario Maker level? Nope, there's just nothing there. <laughs> I tried, I tried to grab on stuff. Oh my god. What's to the right? Uh, the rest of the game, like, before this point. What the fuck, sir? All right, fine, hold on. We'll do a quick uppy. We'll do a quick uppies just for you, okay? Okay, okay, chat, you want some, you want some uppies? Oops, does chat want uppies? Does chat want uppies? Okay, get ready, chat, get ready, chat. Here comes the uppies, here comes the uppies. Oh! Chat, chat, 
I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired, but I think I got I got at least one more enemy. You ready? You ready? Huh? Huh? Ah! Getting so big. Getting so big. You want to fly high? You want to fly? If I throw you too high, you're not going to come down, though. You're going to go into space. You want to? Okay. Here you go. Ah! Oh, actually, you came back down. Okay, that was a close one. There you go. There you go. There's your uppies. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it. All right. I'm going to try this a little, a couple more times. Oh, no. Fuck. What's the game called? This is called a difficult, a game, a, a thing, a game that climbing difficult. A difficult game about climbing. Ha! I think that's what it's called. Difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. Yes, thank you, Lollip. That's exactly what it's called. Lollip, I hope you had a good day. Chat, new people that weren't here the last time I said this. Lollip is a phenomenal streamer and my best friend. She streams a lot and she's funny as fuck. And hold on, hold on. You hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, sweet cheeks. And by that, I mean all of chat. Look at that, okay? There's a shout-out thing. I think. Maybe. There it is, yeah. You could just click the little thing to follow, but honestly, if you're gonna follow, I highly recommend you actually watch. She'll be streaming tomorrow, even. But she's funny as hell. She's been playing a lot of Project Zomboid, which is a personal favorite of mine. Great streams, great vibe. Don't go in here and ask for this, but, uh, I mean, it's not uncommon that she yells at people. So, you know, if you're, if you're into that. Not, not like in that kind of way. I just mean, like, if you find that to be amusing. But are you her best friend? No, she doesn't even know I exist. It's just a, it's just a streamer parasocial relationship. Fuck! <laughs> Can confirm Lollip is, yeah, uh, awesome and hilarious. So, yeah, definitely, definitely. Good. And she's also British. People like that for some reason. Ha! She streams at a time that is friendly to the United States. So you'll probably enjoy if you're from the United States of the best country in the world. You know, the U.S. O-T-B-C-I-T-W. <laughs> Duh. And has great emotes, yes, if that's important to you. And it can be, because she's got a lot of good ones. Don't worry, Lollip, you didn't miss much except me screaming, yelling, FUCK! And screaming and yelling, and also, I, I did I did complain a little bit about Supermarket Sim. Stay tuned for me to play that on my channel. Whoa, what are you doing there? Why are you pun- were you jerking off the column? What the hell was that? Put your hand back on it. Fucking weirdo. Heh! God, every time I manage to pull off the full flip like that... Like, is this how people feel when they're good at video games? Like, when there's people that are like, yeah, I play Tarkov and I actually have a good time because I win. I don't know, I play- I- back in the day I played a lot of PUBG and I don't think I ever saw the windscreen, ever. I think I got second place a bunch of times, but I never once got the fucking windscreen. Watched my friends get it. Watched everyone else get one. And I thought, when is it my turn? Fast forward to now, and I can go, HA! Look at this guy. Look at this fucking god. Huh? Got one foot in the water. What a Double rainbow all the way across the sky! I get second in Fall Guys a lot. Yes, yes, Ashland. There's another game where I will forever be salty and know that I will never, ever, not once, not ever, get first fucking place in Fall Guys. Ever! You never struck me as a first-person shooter sort of person. I don't play as many these days where it's like, uh, it's like single-player ones. But, I mean, this is kind of cheating because there were less people around, but like, Way back in the dial-up era, like, Half-Life 1 was, like, a multiplayer game I played a lot of, and I was really fucking good at it. Which was probably partially because so fewer people were playing video games. 
And also, that was still lightly in an era where everyone wasn't using mouse and keyboard for aiming. So you instantly were better if you were. So that's probably why I was good at that one. Okay. Grab it. Grab it and stop your, your, your tomfoolery. Oh my god. 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 You just little crabby ass. You just little crabby ass. Fuck. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do you remember when we started this game chat? We were so young. There were so many death-defying things we did that we were like, how will we ever pass this? How will we ever... We were so young, so naive. We had no idea about what awaited us and how deep our skill would go. And how we realized that all we needed was to believe in... Pottery! Okay, okay, okay. So here's this far. Lollop, I'm gonna catch you up. This is as far as we've gotten. We need to grab onto this thing, and then presumably grab onto the next one, and then grab onto the thing above. And we have not succeeded in doing that quite so well. Playing Half-Life Story on stream sounds good. That actually does sound like a good idea, actually. I really like... No. Okay, fuck. Thank you for actually grabbing on and giving a shit. I'll grab that one. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, yeah, you dirty bitch. <laughs> I didn't mean what I said. If I go dead, I don't think dead silence will help. I was like, if I fully concentrate, how will we do? But I think what's better, of course, is... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> God. God. Josh, try to skip the fast one. What do you think? Fucking fine. I'll skip the fast one. I'm trying. His little, his, his bullshit muscles won't support it. He doesn't want it bad enough, I think. All right, let's try. No, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Can you get, fuck! Can you hear me just slamming the mouse buttons over and over again to do little dainty fingers? <laughs> like, tap dance my fingers across the thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Now you're saying I should go. Huh! Oh, I can see. Okay, 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 okay. Remember dainty feet? I can't remember why I said dainty feet, but of course I remember dainty feet in general. That sounded weird without context. Whatever. With the way you play game, fuck! Do you think your mouse wears out faster than most people? Excellent question. I would actually say that my mouse probably wears out more from editing than, than playing games in weird ways. Like, I mean, in this case, I'm actually, like, pushing these key- like, pushing my mouse buttons really fucking hard because this is, like, just so much concentration. But I think if we're talking about raw, like, how much I'm using the mouse wheel, how, uh, like, how many times I'm clicking, I would say editing does that a lot more than playing games does. Have you played Peaks of Yore? I have not played Peaks of Yore, but I've seen it, and it looks great. It's actually Bashful Feet, and it was during Zomboid when you became- oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. This is our moment! This will be our moment again, hold on. Use a controller like what, some kind of goddamn quitter? Huh? Then I'll just break my controller! I mean, I could, but... I'm already too deep in with the mouse and keyboard, what am I supposed to do? Why are we going, mmm? I mean, I'll take it. Mmm. <laughs> Come on. Get your, get your fucking fine ass in there. Fuck you. Don't let go. Don't ever let go. There you go, buddy. There you go. Get in there. Yeah, no, get in there. Yeah, no, fuck those bricks. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm trying to do, I have a thrust button, right? Because I go, huh, like that. And so I'm trying to use that, use that, that pent up energy he's got at the right moment. And I've just been not nailing it. So, oh, this, this feels good though. Ready, ready, ready. Huh. Are you serious? Did you see how close that was? Oh, 
Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, okay. Now we know what's now we know what's coming up. It's all so much. It's so much. <sighs> Gotta let my heart rate go down. It's pe I just looked at my watch. It's peaking right now at 80. I gotta calm the fuck down. All right, here we go. So I feel like Fasty Boy actually helped. I feel like Fasty Boy actually worked. Josh, I love you. Going to Cheesecake Factory now. Uh, Dumble... Dumble Dorbany? I don't know if I'm reading that right. Have a good time at Cheesecake Factory. I don't really know what to recommend besides that I like the orange chicken, but it's been many years. It might not even be there. You might hate that. In which case, do not take my recommendation. Or do, and resent me for it. <clears throat> and also, yes, enjoy your cheesecake. Oh! Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here. Because <laughs> my arm is actually starting to hurt. But I definitely want to come back to this. Because this game makes me very, very happy. I like this game a lot. And now it's time. Oh, you know what I'm going to try? So I'm going to read everybody's name. So if you want to stick around for a raid, it's going to do this for like five minutes. If you don't, I'm really glad you were here. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, seriously, for being here. <laughs> so before we do that, I'm going to I said I was going to read out everyone's names because I wasn't able to really acknowledge too much while I was playing. So I want to make sure to do that. And I realize that can be mega boring and you might click off. So I get that. But also, hold on. I have this. I'm gonna try this first. I don't think it's gonna work. I have a thing called, like, I have a thing that's supposed to roll credits and show all the names. But something tells me it's gonna go by at fucking breakneck speed, so let's see what happens when I click on it. Oh, even better. Even better, just no names at all. That's, that's what I like to see. It's looking, it's looking really good. Let's at least put chat on there. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so fast. It was just blazing fast. It was just, it went by too fast. Hold on. Where is the fucking, hold on. Credits. I can't remember which screen the credits thing is on. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, found it. Found it. Ready? Let's see what happens. Well, that's everything I could have hoped for. I would, I'm so glad that the transparency worked, and also it's doing the Star Wars crawl where we can't see shit. That's definitely not the one I told it to do, but I'm glad we're here now. Cool. Hold on. I'll just let that run for a bit while I, uh, while I edit the settings. And Yeah, thank you for the, for the clapping. I feel like we've really done something good here. Hold on. What, if, what is this called? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's try, let's try this other one. Install widget theme. Yeah, do it. Do it while we're lot. I'm not gonna pay you money. All right, we're just reading it by hand. But I'll just let that be there in case you want to see your name in there. You don't. You have to. Uh, right. All right, hang on. <laughs> I'm a disgrace. I'm a disgrace to the badge. Okay, hold on. I accidentally, accidentally closed my alert box now, so I have literally no idea about anything. So, recent events. I'll bring this right here. And I'll put this right here. Okay, you ready? Is it just gonna play again? I certainly hope so. What is it gonna do? I'm so... Okay, yeah, it's just gonna play again. Sweet! I'll just let that keep going. Why not? I'm gonna start from the top down. Are you ready? Cooler than you. Thank you for the resub. Delta TMX. Thank you for the resub. Desert Ice. Thanks for 200 bits to say Bucky's is a legit is legit a restaurant name. Bucky's? I love coming into a good Bucky's. Bouquets. Bouquets. Thank you for the 200 bits, Desert Ice, and also thank you for 100 bits. I'm sure you're well practiced doing things one-handed. I'm glad I get to read your sick burns 34 minutes later, and just thank you, thank you. Frost John, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, Retro Wolf Boy, thank you for the resub. Trigon, 280, thank you for the prime. Sun God, 59, thank you for the resub. Elias, thank you for the prime. Slayer, QC001, thank you for the prime. Fanicu, Fan 
I don't know how to pronounce that. I tried. But thank you for the resub. 27 months. Kyle, thank you again for the resub. Just now noticed. Tier 3. Dear Lord, thank you for that. Mucho gusto. Oxybee, thank you for the resub as well. Ash Call, thank you for the prime. DK Supra, 1994, thank you for the prime. Desert Ice with another 100 bits. Don't fall. Well, you saw what happened there. This was an hour ago. Slamma Bang Jones, thank you for the resub. And the nice message. Pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo, pee pee poo poo. I love you. Thank you for that. Desert Ice, thanks for another 100 bits. Make weird stuff that can be applied to so much. That's what YouTube is, okay? Tron, thanks for the 100 bits. Oh, this was about your cat. I did read that one. Not thank goodness, but like, thank goodness I actually remember reading a thing. Uh, Kruznik, thank you for the resub. I'm here for grace, lol, JK. See what you did there. See what you did there. No lols, thank you for the prime. Cooler than... I already read that. Okay, hold on, I wasn't checking this off correctly. Argme Pickle, thanks for the 69 bits. The one MacGyver, thank you for the resub. Rasp the Berry. Raz the Berry, thank you for the resub as well. Chaos Adept. Chaos Adept. I don't know why I said adept. I'm so adept at things. <laughs> uh, thank you for the resub. Ixenvire, thanks for the 100 bits. Psycho Ruby Gamer, thanks for the 500 bits. Homeless Man 404, thank you for the sub. Desert Eyes, thank you again for another. Oh, well, actually, this is a resub. I remember this. I said thank you and also said the message, which was just Let's spice it up now. Let's uh let's get Optimus in here. Madman Sock, thanks for 100 bits. Drake the Snake, thank you for the subscription at tier one. Panther Farber, thank you for the resub. Lollipop Jai, go to hell. HFC06, thank you for the tier three sub. Corruption Hunter, thank you for the resub for 15 months. Lollipop Jai, thank you for the resub, go to hell. Bees with the Knees, thank you for the gift sub to Jamie Games. Bees with the Knees, also thank you for the gift sub to Stinky Cern. Lollipop Jai, go to hell. Retar Joe, thank you for the resub. You got this little buddy. Nessa, thank you for the 39 months. Art Me Pickle, thank you for a gift sub to It's the Lab. Lollipop Jai, go to hell. Arg Me Pickle, thank you for the resub. Nao, now, 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 human being, get in here and read this one. I don't know how to, I, I don't know your human language that well. What an asshole. Now, oh, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce this either, but I'm going to try. Now, now Yoshi. Now Yoshi? Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the resub. Boomer's Backyard, thank you for the resub as well. Lollipop Jai, by the way, thank you for the, re for the resub as well. Always, always a big fan of you being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, Boomer's Backyard with the message. 33 months, that's almost a year. You say that every time, don't you? I appreciate it every time. Chris Abyss, thank you for the resub. A tier two for 28 months. Dear Lord. Hi, Josh. Hope you're well. I am. I am doing well. Stella Rally, thank you for the resub for 25, 25 months. Sarahs, thank you for the resub. Happy Hazy, thank you for the sub as well. The Crunchy Fox, thank you for the resub for 32 months. Woo, best entertainment while recovering in bed. I hope it was good. I hope you had I hope you had a, a fun time. Widget 985, thanks for the resub just now. Keep up the keep up the good work, Optimus, Josh, and Stash. Yo, thank you. Rock Solid. Thank you for the reset for 36 months. Can't believe it's been three years. Neither can I. Mystic Seven. Thank you for the resub. Speed Kills. Thank you for the resub. Outlast is my favorite band of the early of the early aughts. All the best and hope you find the gold the golden goggles. <laughs> thank you. Super Pack. Thank you for the resub as well. 18 months, a whole year and a half. Thank you. Thanks for you truly outstand. Thanks for your truly outstanding creative content. Tylor. Thank you for the resub as well. Uh, Falcon. Falcon. I almost read that as <laughs> Felchin. No, I didn't mean that. I mean, your name is great. What is happening? Thank you for the resub for 15 months. Siz, Sizitian. Sizitian. <laughs> thank you for the resub. Falcon Punch. There you go. Thank you for saving that. Mayo Maze. Thank you for converting from a prime sub to a real sub. A real sub. Shuski, again, thank you. I don't, I don't, this is five hours ago. Lego Lars TTV, thank you for the sub. Your mom, 64G14, thank you for the sub. Visible Alarm, thank you for the reset for 35 months. Shingy, thank you for the reset for tier two for 31 months. 
Was that Johnny? Yeah, we did a... Oh, Shuski, you're still here. Hello. Yes, thank you again for the for the sub. War Sheep. The beautiful World of War Sheeps. Thank you for the resub for 19 months. World of War Sheeps. Play now for free. Dexter Solid. Thank you for the resub. Broken Synchronicity. Thank you for the resub as well. Am at work, so peeking in to say hello. Then we have Coda Knight with five gift subs. Thank you for that. As well as a sub for themselves. Skull! Skullimmed! Thank you for the resub. Cali Crow! Thank you for the resub as well. Captain Ben, thank you for the resub at tier two for 39 months. 39 months. Jesus Christ. Time flies. Anemic Ironing Board, thank you for the resub. Coco the Koala, thank you for the sub as well. Pala47, thank you for the resub at tier two. 38 months. Lady Light 10, thank you for the resub. Sweetest Weasel, thank you for the resub as well. Zook and TDK, thank you for the resub as well. Totally Mike. Thanks for the 20 months. Kara0897, thank you for the resub as well. Typhoon of Tempest, thank you for the gift sub. Dana Esther, thank you for the sub. That one boy 59, thank you for the resub. Swazepa, thank you for the resub as well. Corpse Knight Silver, thank you for the resub. Boo Skidley with the resub. Asp Viper JD. I know it doesn't say JD at the end anymore, but I just can't get it out of my head. So thank you. Asp Viper underscore. Thank you for the resub. I Momo AI Momo PI. I Momo P. I feel like I'm getting closer to saying something that's gonna get me TOS or something. But thank you for the sub. UCK, thank you for the resub as well. I'm gonna read this again. I don't think I read this actually. I'm gonna go ahead and read it now. I'm gonna read it as Optimus. I'm by that I mean, hey Optimus! Oh, Optimus! UCK has resubscribed tier one for 14 months in a row, but a t 25 total. Hello, you smexy, ooh woo, you, you. Though you could put sussy me and get away, but a vasty I found you, you can hide, but you can't run. Gentle nya, princess, lollipi, slash, 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 fill my hopes and dreams with pop, pop rocks, please. What the fuck did you just have me read? Thank you, Yusuke. Again. <laughs> Uh, Total Legit, thank you for the resub. Coerkri C Reach, thank you for the resub as well. I finally got your name right. Tron, amazing mod, thank you for being here. My throat's getting hoarse. Uh, Migus Masters, thank you for the resub as well. Diesel Dan, 85, thank you for the resub. Bald Marlin, thank you for the for the sub. Leaf Girl, 1988, thank you for the resub as well. Castle Frasidy, Cat. Cassie Frasity, thank you for the sub. 604 Golem Boulevard, thank you for the resub. The Crafting Jedi, thank you for the resub as well. Jennifer, thank you for the resub. Simply Human 332, as well as Cats Can't Teleport, as well as Mr. Cute, Mr. Cutecumber, and Pilot Gerald B, and Vanguard. Hello, Vanguard, hello. Oh, and also Pilot Gerald B, thank you for the tier two. Mucho Gusto. Mucho Gusto. Warzy, thanks for the resub as well. Thanks for the lollop high. You're doing so great. You're so brave. Thank you for thank you to Gucci Garbage, Detroplex, Shadow Wolf. And that's all she wrote. We did it. We did it. Thank you again for being here. Let's go see who we should raid. Hold, please. While I sit here and struggle to use technology. As you do. Thanks for this. Thanks for being here. Seriously, I'm a, I'm a, always really, really pleased to be able to do this, especially when it lines up where it's something like this that it's like I'm just so into games like this. I just really, really like games like this. What is Night Dive Studios doing? They make a lot of games that I like. I'm just hold on. I'm just looking down the list. Let's see. Uh, 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 the Lollip High. Oh yeah, if you don't know what a raid is, if you're new to Twitch, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this from my buddy William Shand. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just uh, Will Will Shand. I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Will, but he's not live yet, so we're just gonna sit here together. We're just going to sit here together till he goes live, then we're going to raid Will. Will Shand is a super awesome streamer guy. 
how, how does this how does this face keep getting on here did i push it did i push it and forget how did i push it what if he's late then i guess i'm not then i guess i'm just offline raiding him then lollip i guess that's what's happening here you're right you're right he often doesn't doesn't uh <laughs> isn't on time but shand is a wonderful human being and the way he describes raids is he's like we're gonna do a raid now a raid is when we go to someone else's channel spam a really obnoxious message and then they say thank you for raiding me it's pretty much what he says i think that's what he says i can't remember if i'm getting that that and then he sings before that he sings you a song he sings you a song and you feel held in the most parasocial <laughs> parasocial way you can imagine thank you for raiding me hold on hold on let's i hold on hold on shan please just go live don't fuck this all right you know what we're gonna do until shan goes live i'm gonna open i'm gonna open his uh i was gonna say his dumb i'm gonna open his dumb ass up <laughs> And until then, you know what we're going to do? We're just going right back into the game <laughs> until that happens. Till he shows up. I already closed like half my steam, like half my streaming stuff. So I'm just like, it's like my, like, you know, it's like you already start taking the tie off and you're just like, ah, but it's like, well, we'll just, we're just here now. We're just here now waiting, waiting for Will. He doesn't even know this. He didn't ask for this, but it's what we're doing. So we're going back to this. Except we're going to have this on the screen the whole time. Just so everybody knows they didn't miss out on too much. How's that sound? Where it's like, we know what's happening, but now this is going to be a... Uh... Can you even tie a tie? I can. I used to work in corporate America. I know how to tie a tie. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you for raiding. Oh, we have, we have to do uppies? Is that what's happening? Okay. You're not going to like these uppies, though. Hold on. Who's still here? How many people left and are going to feel betrayed? We lost like a thousand people. <laughs> yeah! It's a private little club and only we were invited. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Twitch, what the fuck? Why is it if the, the browser is too small and I want to look at my followed channels, there's no show more button to show me more when it's too small. There's just like five fucking icons and I can't click on more. And half of them, I don't know why I'm complaining about this, but half of them are like everybody's alt streams. <laughs> like it's, I see Lollips and Wills and Shusky's alt streams as like the top five. Like what about all the other ones? Why can't I just scroll? Why are those there? Shand! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't start making noise, don't start making noise, don't start making noise, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, you want uppies, do you? All right, well, here we go. You ready? All right, chat, you ready for uppies? <laughs> ready for uppies? I was just getting him out of the way, obviously. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God, you're getting so big. You're getting so big. Do you want, do you want another one? All right, here we go. Here we go. We we're doing so good. You're getting so heavy. Do you want one more? All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> you did this, chat. You fucking did this. He's here now, and it's because of you. <laughs> okay, where were we? Let's try this a little bit more while there's other bullshit in the way. So that everybody that left knows they didn't really miss much. When I said I was going to end, and then I didn't end, because now we're in the off chance that a streamer I want to raid comes online. Why don't I just end? I could just end. What am I doing? Should I just end? Is that bad protocol now to say you're going to raid someone and then be like, ah, fuck it. I didn't know to wait or not. And then I wonder if they're like, if it's Shand, who's infinitely cool and is like, oh, man. I, I would have been pretty cool with a... With a you're gonna write a twit. Shit, here comes the twit longer. I knew it. Someone was gonna have to write it. 
Oh man, I missed a raid because I was late. But I wasn't really late, I stood on my own time. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Should I just... I'm not gonna raid his offline chat, or should I? Eh, fuck it. Why not? That sounds like a good idea. Why not? We don't get to do that. We're gonna offline raid William Shand. Will Shand. He's a great guy. He's gonna come online any second now. Josh, why don't you talk about something? Do you want me to t uh, love it? Do you want to, you want to just sit and talk for a bit? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to do you want to have a conversation? Let's talk. Let's talk. Speak to me. Speak to me. Give me a subject. Let's 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 have conversations. Come on, give me a subject. Come on. You want more stream? Look. Look, god damn it. What do you want from me? Huh? 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 That's all I got. That's that's what you wanted to talk about? You just wanted to be like, I want more stream. Where's Grace? Ha! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just doing shit that Will Shan does now. What did you say about supermarket sim? Do I really want to talk about this again? Because you know what's going to happen, Lollip, is I'm going to just go, I'm going to, I'm going to rant about my dislike for the practices of supermarket sim, and then I'm going to be a complete fucking sellout and play the fucking game. Be like, here's my fucking video. Hopefully no one watched my stream because I won't bring it up on my video like a goddamn talk about me. What the fuck? That's what you want me to, fuck! That's what you want me to do? Can you even see the game? <laughs> what is that noise I keep hearing? Is that him? Is he crying? Am I crying? You just wanted my reaction. I got it. Talk about your AI family. What are you implying? <laughs> that I'm alone in a darkened apartment somewhere? Talk about Lollip's bidet she hasn't installed yet. So you know what, Lollip? I honestly think like, so I'm not a big proponent of, oh God, look at his beautiful, gorgeous ass. Did you see that? I'm not a big... Like, I don't, I don't care that much about bidets. But also, Lollip, they're not that fucking hard to install. What's wrong with you, huh? Besides the fact you were given a present you didn't actually want, and now you have it. And now you're forced to do something about it, huh? Yeah, why can't you be bothered, though, huh? <laughs> Leave her alone. Also, hello, love sicko. It's always great to see you. Love Sicko is, one, is uh, part of the Amazing Mod team, as you can obviously see, but they're also on a different time zone. And I tend to start streaming at, like, the, the least optimal time for them. You want us to start... <laughs> you want us to start fighting again? We can do that. We're always fighting. Just perfect... Ah! Sibling energy. I didn't even know you streamed. I mean, that's fair, right? Like, I, I talked about it for a bit in my videos, and then I kind of stopped. Mostly in part because you can't usually mix advertising with other advertising, which technically me talking about my stream is. As strange as that sounds. Should I order Chinese food? What are you thinking about getting for Chinese food? Because I love to get, like, the greasiest, most regretful idea for Chinese food and then eat it. And, and then just spend the rest of the evening wondering why I did that and but also not enough to like go work out or like you know do anything else it's like oh I guess I guess I'm just gonna sit here then fuck it I've made my choices and I got to live with it also I need to get some cold stone <laughs> crab oh see there you go bees that's exactly what I'm talking about that's that's a total josh meal right there crab rangoons and general sow's chicken you know, bees, I watched a YouTube video on how you can make that in the air fryer. And they claim it's every bit as good, even though it never, ever, ever is. But General's Chicken, my God, and Crab Rang... Uh, are you a cat or a dog person? Uh, I had cats growing up, but I think I'm probably more of a dog person. But I've also become one of those people that stares out the window and stares at birds, too. So I don't know. I don't know. It's all over the place. Just as long as I can see other things alive. That sounds really weird. 
It's a lot. Tell us about Burbs. That's the most boring story ever, but sure. There's there's a couple of red cardinals near me. And, oh. And they've they've paired up, and I learned from Googling for five minutes that when red cardinals pair up, they pair up generally for life. They get what most of us don't get. <laughs> But they're just in our neighborhood now, and I look for them every morning, and I love them, and they, I'm sure, want nothing to do with me, but I've, in my mind, they're, we're best friends, and they love, they love us, and, uh, and me. If you're coming back to my stream, by the way, because I said I was ending, then I didn't, I'm really sorry. I was going to raid someone, and they weren't online, so fuck! He does make a noise when he lands. He does make a noise. It's a weird, upsetting, creepy noise. Very upsetting. Barely a person- Oh, you mean- you mean me, Love Sickle. I thought you were insulting this gentleman here, of which I was gonna get very upset. But do streamers ever really leave their house? Come on. Stash is blocked by techno. Stash is just hiding. Are you the let's game it out? Yes. For better or worse. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to go offline. <laughs> too too busy. Too lazy. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and check out my Twitter. Check out my Twitter. Do the Twitter. I don't actually care if you check out my Twitter. <laughs> but I'm releasing a new video later this week sometime. You know how it is. And also don't forget to check out my Twitter. And then go to Twitter and check out Twitter. Then if you hit up the Twitter, you can Twitter. It's your heart's content. So thank you again for being here. Hope you had fun, I know I did. I'll see you. Oh shit, I don't have the stop button. I can't finish my speech. Okay, there it is. Hope you had fun, I know I did. Okay, I should.